Good morning, everyone, and welcome back Switch to the game screen. There we go. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Ah, I may have panicked as I was making the thumbnail for this because I noticed in the background there was something red just as I was closing it to reload it and realized, oh crap, autosave is on and I don't have another save. So I have no idea what we're about to load into. <laughs> it could be Reavers. I'm hoping it's just some civilian traffic as we continue the Saturday survival series. Because I was like, oh, let me just, let me just close the map so I don't run out of oxygen. Go finish warming up my coffee. And yet there's the, there's the, yep. Yeah. All right. Is, are we okay, it's a mining carriage. It was, it was five. I thought it was, oh, I thought that was like two something. We're fine. Actually, no, there was more than one red. I guess it's gone. I don't know what happened. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. If you don't know what this is, this is the Model of the Things series. It's going on for years in this new one that we've just kind of restarted. Uh, we're building a mining facility meant to mine. Turn my music down a little bit. Meant to mine magnesium. We're building up weapons. We're getting ready to leave this solar system, <clears throat> this map. Uh, we're going to be loading up all of our stuff and heading off to a kind of a hardcore survival world. And we're only going to be taking with us what we can take with us, like whatever we can load up. And in this new survival series that we're going to be doing, um, we're going to have a series of mods that make it so when you break stuff down, you don't get the, the base components back. You get raw material and only a small percentage of them. It's going to be relatively hardcore and it's going to be harder to find resources. So we're going to want to make sure that we bring with us lots and lots of weaponry because the system that we're heading towards is hostile. There's lots of nasty critters and, and who knows what else out there. It's bad. It's real bad. So, and we've got some fun ideas on what mods we're going to be using to make that happen. And we've even got a solar system with cool maps and, ah, I'm excited. But we're continuing to make this base. And I love the idea that we can always come back to this base at some point, if we want to, to rearm and repair. But we have to actually physically carry these weapons with us. That's the challenge. So let's get back into it. Uh, for So far, we've just been trying to get the base operational so we can keep it alive. Kevin! Thanks for the $2 donation. Well, in a 14 hour day, you're keeping me sane. Well, we're just getting started. So if you're starting your 14 hours, at least um, I'll be around for a chunk of them. Uh, let's see here. I need to get some steel plates. I did a little bit of work on the base. Uh, reinforced basically all the walkways. Reinforced the cargo container that we've been using. Um, what else did we do? What else did we do? Oh, and I took a part. Yeah, no, I, I took a... No, I didn't. It's back over there. It's back over there. Uh, and did some more mining. So there was a... You know, get, get some more boring stuff out of the way. Um, I did a little bit more mining. You can see the drill here. Our little turreted drill. I love the new turret system. The last update. I think we could agree. I'm curious what you guys think. Um, you can barely hear me. I can turn up my volume a little bit. No, it's it's normal. It's normal. It's going out the same decibel level as always. Um, the last pass was really good. Like, surprisingly, the weapon systems, the lock-on mechanic, and then the ability to, like, easily make turrets as part of the base game without having to use a script. This is good stuff. I, I wish, I hope, all of their updates are going to end up being like this. Adding some substantial, you know... Let's reverse the drill and start bringing it back. Substantial updates that add a lot to the gameplay. Back to SWAT Cat. Exactly, Prophet. We are back to SWAT Cat. Um, which I still don't remember though the act it's like Shaq's weapons, ammunition, tutorial, creation, after tie. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's it's an acronym. Enough acronyms. Air Force was like nothing but acronyms. Shark Gaming, thanks for the five. Here is some coffee on me. Have fun and don't set anything on fire this week. No promises. No promises. Why is it that people, as I'm sipping my coffee, I look over into the, my Discord and I see decaf is a lie. There is only caffeine. Through caffeine, I gain purpose. Through purpose, I gain values. Through value, I gain coffee. What? Oh, it, it's the it's the Jedi, it's the Jedi mantra, but it switched out to be coffee. Through coffee, my chains are broken. For coffee, shall free me. No, wait, that's the Sith mantra, isn't it? Because they're all like through through passions, free me or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, it's good copy. I love my community. You guys are amazing. Oh. 
I was reading some conversation on the Discord that was like it was deep in the in the nerdy weeds um, about real science and like Star Trek. We're out of steel plates. But it was very enjoyable actually to read it. Let's see. Um whoa, okay, we need we need iron. We've been eating through all of that stone. And we don't have any stone either, do we? Nope. Nope. I oh the other thing that that I did, um, I built and increased the number of refineries. Now, this is gonna seem really silly, but apparently it works, and I don't remember when this changed, probably years ago, and I never noticed, or I've always used mods to do this for me. Um, if you take something that you want to refine to put it at the top of like the inventory list, unless I'm wrong, I was doing this with stone. Maybe it was dumb luck. Um, it actually, we're going through all that magnesium we've got. Nice. It's going to take a while. Uh, it'll actually prioritize that if you pull out the old stuff. I didn't know that. I always thought you had to have a mod to do that. The more you know. When is the next season of Stellaris coming out, Penny? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, don't know the answer to that question. Uh, whenever I dive into Stellaris again, it is, is not a very satisfying answer, I know. We're going to go get some iron. I think we're going to go get some raw iron. Oh, wow, we need to fix this. Damn. Yeah, that's right. We took some uh, some damage during a docking maneuver that, uh, that caused some problems. All right, let's bring this over to the cargo. Are you full? Yeah, you're full of stuff. You full. I will empty you and we'll we'll try to replace this. Um, what, what happened was we docked up. Oh, we docked up with what the with something and uh, and the engines flew off. Or we hit something. I don't remember. I know the shuttle took damage because we docked and the drop doors actually managed to collide. So we have to be careful of that next time. Can you give me all this stuff? How much are you carrying right now? We'll just go get some iron to get us started today, and then we'll get the mine going again and start pulling in stone to kind of offset our need. Captain Fenrir! Thank you for the $10. Appreciate it. Says, hey, Captain, I had a rumor that the planet you're going to use was recently irradiated by Admiral Shed because I know you would never break the Prime Directive. Did Shed do that? Oh, that guy. You know, he'll never learn. We're half brothers. I just want that to be clear. <laughs> All right. Different, different bombs. Uh, there you go. All right. We need thrusters. Focus. I, li oh, I only lost one thruster. This is fine. I need a thrust. Uh, and it's the... Yeah, it's the ion, the sci-fi iron thrusters. No, it's ion. Ah, oh, man, why didn't I use the new ones? For the rear engines. I'm not gonna take it off now because I'm worried those parts will just disappear. Because uh, they probably will. Uh, what do I, oh, I need steel plates. The bane of my existence. I'm gonna have to steal them out of this. Oops, oops, need this. Need this. Don't worry, Bob will fix it later. Okay, I gotta stop taking apart ones that just disappear when I do it, because there's nothing in them. Inquisitor! Thomas, definitely not a Skaven. I believe that less and less every time I hear it. Thanks for the nine. Good evening, good, uh, Captain. Looking forward to today's shenanigans. Say, I imagine suddenly getting attacked by a battle barge. No, please. No, please, I'm not ready yet. Uh, let's see, what what changed for defenses last since last time? Because uh, I did do a little bit of work. Let's see, that turret's up but operational. We've got a turret on the very top. We've got a turret all the way over here, defending the mine. Um, and then we've got the Gatling cannon, and that's about it for us. Uh, construction comp construction phone's all you need. Okay, and then we can go get some some resources. Uh, I need to drop that and. We're gonna have to take something apart. How am I doing on, how am I doing on thrusters? I have a thousand thrusters left. 
Yeah, take apart like 30 of those. And we'll go get some iron. I've been playing, to answer that Stellaris question a little bit better, I guess, um, for when's like the next season gonna come out. I've been playing a lot of Warhammer with a visor, which has been really enjoyable. I've only got room in my life for a couple of RTSs. <laughs> Between that and Empire War, yeah. Hey, Nicholas. Hey, everybody, welcome to the stream. Literally, you guys are getting in just at the beginning. You haven't missed anything. Other than me scrambling to get some construction components, which I now need to steal out of here before. Oh, you did it. You did it right away. Okay, good job. Good job. I always believed in you. All right, let's just go grab some iron. What's that red? It's a Reaver Impaler. Shit. Okay, check the base. Do we have any beacons, any radios turned on? No? I don't know if they're drawn to power sources. Oh, we're also missing a braking thruster. Shit. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna dip that in here. I'm gonna slap this on. I don't think we're gonna have the parts. I don't have the steel plates. Gabble, 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 rabble, rabble, rabble. No, that one's finished. Don't take that apart. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I have to hurry. Oh, there's two things on the map now. It's like that we didn't see any for so long, and now it's like they've awoken. Okay. Reaver 1.5 away. Let me get in the shuttlecraft, which I still haven't reloaded. And we're out of steel, so I doubt I can make missiles for it. But at the very least, I can get in the way. Because the shuttle's the tankiest thing we've got. Uh, it's just Virgil. Thanks for the five. SWAT cats. SWAT, uh, Shaq's weapons and uh, technology comprehensive advanced tutorials. Yes. <laughs> I thought a tutorial it wasn't that bad in Space Engineers I want to get some new players in I want to do a tutorial I was thinking about this I want to do a tutorial of Space Engineers where I actually bring in someone who hasn't played and teach them the game so that people can see by you know by doing by watching someone else learn as they go I think that would be pretty cool alright we got Reavers coming in yeah Reavers work like this they can hunt down um, signals that they see. So they haven't seen us yet, because when they have, we'll know it. Ah, okay, come on, just don't notice us. Just keep going. Let's go take a look at him. Send a probe. Every Reaver ship is different, too. Because you never know what weapons they're going to have. They also always look crazy. And they get much, much bigger. I think he's getting farther away, though, so he hasn't noticed us. I don't know what weapons he's got. I mean, other than he's very much on fire. Does anybody see any weapons? There's guns on there somewhere. Also, they are deadly. They will ram you. Oh, there they are. There they are. They got Gatlings next to the cockpits. Yeah. Yar, 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 yar. Don't like. What's his distance? 3.38. He's getting farther away. Okay. We're good. No, don't have to panic just yet. Oop. All right, Mining Barge. How you doing? I don't really want to leave the base, but I do need iron. So we're going to wait until he gets a little bit farther away, and then we're going to head out. Danny, Draconis, thank you for the five. Hey, I hope you're having a good day. Are you going... Oh, Homeworld 3 when it comes out? Shit, yeah, I am. Sorry if I made that sound like it's a silly question, but that's a silly question. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play Homeworld 3. We've done all the Homeworlds except... Probably the best one, which is weird, which is that expansion, Cataclysm, which I think they renamed because Blizzard somehow got the trademark for the word Cataclysm, which is stupid. So it's, it's I don't remember what it's called now, but they didn't do a remake of that one. So we played one and two. We have a whole Let's Plays are here on the channel, and we've done um, uh, Deserts of Carrick, which I really enjoyed. I think some of the some of the vehicles in that game are just stunning. Um, 
I've always wanted to build some of them in Space Engineers. I've only done one with Mr. Morph. All right, we need iron, so let's go find it. Uh, ice and iron, eight kilometers away, 27 kilometers away. Uh, no, I guess we'll go with the eight kilometers because I don't want to be looking for it. Uh, how far away is he now? Oh. No, 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 he's not exactly the same direction. He's below us? What are we doing on power too? 14 minutes of fuel? Ugh, okay. We're gonna have to be a little bit more careful then. How are we maxing power? Oh, I bet I know why we're maxing power. Our re our reactor's out, isn't it? Yep. We gotta get a refuel. Reaver has detected a potential target. What? No, it must be able to see me because I'm moving fast. Oh, they added that? Why would you... Oh, Marlo Lucas, why do you do these things to me? He's closing quick! <laughs> Shit, I'm in a mining barge. Not cool, man. I still want that iron, though. <laughs> oh, why is the iron on his side? All right, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hide on this side. Let's shut her down. It said potential target. Maybe he doesn't know I'm here. We could wrap it. Do we run? I shut down. He's 500 meters. Bring engines on. There's no way he's not going to find us. He's going around the rock. He hit it. I think he hit it. Battery tried to fire at me. No. 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 You stay on that side. Stay on that side. I think he's shooting rockets at me. He's not ramming it. Look how fast he's moving. I'm just gonna yoink this and run. This is all the iron that's here. That's really pathetic. Find it quick, we gotta go! <laughs> There's a reaver trying to find us. Oh, he's getting around it. This is what you want when you're being chased by. He's coming around it! Shit! Go, 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 go! Yeep. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, I remember when you were stupid and couldn't get around rocks. That's not cool, man. Oh, this is not the epic music that I thought it was. <laughs> like I'm starting a D&D &D campaign, not... Oh, he's in between me and the base now. Come on. Oh, she's going around it again. Yes, come around this way. Oh, he's shooting. <laughs> All right, I'm making the run. And go! Screw you, Impaler! And away! Thank you, Danny, for the five. My bad. Oh, have a great day, Captain. I know where he's dude. I don't know what I missed. Oh, when am I going to play Homeworld? Yeah, man. No, for sure. I'm going to play Homeworld 3, if that was the question you're still talking about. Yep. I'm excited for it. It's a silly question. <laughs> He's still shooting at me. Ah, the base has opened up. He's returning fire, and my cargo is really heavy, and I'm, like, side-sliding around the base. I'm full bird right now trying to get back to the base. What's he shooting at? No, he's, it's not him shooting. It's my Gatling shooting at him, and it's missing. Come on, base turrets. I believe in you. You're literally my only hope. I hope he's hitting the shuttle right now. I gotta start slowing down. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I got the speed under control. He's on the other side of the base. Oh, he might be underneath us, like underneath the guns. Oh, I hope not. Oh, there's another Reaver coming. Damn it. Oh, I don't have a docking spot because I took it off. All right, let's just put you here for right now. See what's going on. Where is he? He's below the base. He's moving up quick. I'm going to get in the shuttle because it's safe there. Safer. 
Taking hits. Shut the door. Let's move away. We need him to come up higher. He's on our weak side. Come on, turrets. Yeah. Give him the good news. We gotta weaponize this. I gotta get more missiles. Get him. I'm gonna dip down. All right, gotta get back up so I can start taking hits for the Gatling cannon. Don't shoot the, no, oh, not my mine. They keep disabling my mine. You're such a scumbag. Oh shit. I've got to get to the weapon system and find out why we're not firing. Something detonated. The music is so funny. All right, well, our Gatling is going ham, but none of the other turrets are firing. They might be out of ammunition, but I don't remember how they could possibly be. Okay, stop shooting my ship. Actually, I want him to shoot the ship. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. All the assault cannons are currently on. But they're all out of ammunition. How did that happen? We made so much ammo. You stop making that. What are we going to be missing? We're going to be missing nickel. Take that apart quickly. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, my damn turret. Oh, my, my mine. I needed to reset the mine anyways, but... Ah! Debbie, thank you for the five earlier. It was Homeworld Emergence. Ah, gotcha. Okay, 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 okay. Production, 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 production. Assemble, assemble. Listen for the boom. Assault cannon shells are being made. Come on, turrets. Don't wait for the invitation. Assault cannon shell, assault cannon turret. Yeah, pew pew. fine. Oh, no! It's a off, it's offline! They're firing. They're firing. Oh, please make more. Please make more. Ammunition. Keep firing. Panic building of ammunition. Yep. Keep building it. Keep building it. Oh! Return fire. Return fire. It's the Thrasher. Okay, we need to get something. I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. Oh no, they're broadcasting something horrible. What was that? It rammed us. Shit. It rammed the base. This thing's massive. Okay, we need to take this thing down. Like, kill that radio. Oh, what did it hit? What did it hit? It hit the it hit the main supports for the walking path. It hit the it hit the cargo container. Oh no! Backup cargo container is still online, it's, but it's not hooked up. Shit! And we've got another reaver closing, very very slowly. Not great. So we need to get this hooked to the main rig and then get everything picked up. I need, yeah, I need a connector. A connector. And conveyors. This is gonna require, cause I can just hook it up to this. Interior plates. Hey, you didn't happen to throw any interior plates in every direction, did you? No, no you didn't. Uh, da -da 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 -da. How can I get interior plates quickly? I can take you apart. That'll actually give me construction components as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna take apart this extra refinery. It is extra parts. It's got motors in it too. Um, that's fine. Some of our magnesium just kind of spilled everywhere. So. And then we can use whatever parts we can get from the corpse of that reaver. I think we need a shield. Or substantially more firepower. They keep ramming us. I mean, how can you defend against a ram like that? 
That almost got us there. We can pull more from the rest of these. We can also pull from... Um, we can take apart one of the react, one of the refineries. If we can get this online, that'll keep all of our stuff running and the bobs going. Anti-ram tank. Like, could we do some kind of, like, shock shield of steel around the base? Maybe that would, like, ping it off or something? Ah, oh, this is broken, too. I've got to build more of them here. Uh, yeah. Let's see. We're not going to get much from that. Help? <gasps> What was that? Oh, it's got explosives on it? It may have explosives on it. Are you, are you motors? Inventory sort of. Full. You're also the large steel plants. Oh. This music is so not appropriate <laughs> for this situation. Hey, you, got any, uh, you got any motors in there? No? All right. Yeah, it was a warhead. I'm just glad I wasn't next to it. Right, let's grab this. Um, let's grab... This would have doors or motors, wouldn't it? Yeah, this has got some motors, construction components, steel tubes. A lot of the stuff we need. We have another impaler out there, but he's going the other direction. Man, I wonder if he called him back up. So all we need now is motors. Uh, what else is in this? Please don't explode. Please don't explode. Good job, not exploding. Ah! Don't explode. Inventory, inventory yes. Okay. Just trying to get the cargo system online. Still not going to be online. Might have to take these from something else. I know what I'll do. We're going to shut down one of our refineries. We don't need all of them in this emergency situation. All right, that's enough of that music. <laughs> all right, cargo systems back online. Next step is get the bobs connected because the bobs aren't currently connected. Neither are the turrets. Yeah. Oh, 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 they did so much damage. All right, Bob is the most important thing right now. So he can help me repair. So I'm gonna take those off. Push this out of the way. Nope, it's 48,000. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to move that. Ah! <laughs> okay, that reaver is still really far away. Check. Ammo explodes when hit. Keep that in mind. There wasn't much ammo. I was literally making emergency. Somehow we used up all of our ammunition since last time. And I'm not really sure how because it's not like I had. I was attacked. Like I was playing. No problem. Wasn't attacked at all. Loaded up the stream. Immediately get nailed by shenanigans. Kind of clean up here. Okay, we gotta get this up. You don't have motors in you, do you? No, actually, you don't have much at all. I'll just take it apart. Oh, really? I'm losing reputation with the Reavers. Let me just cry a river. Let's see if there's any other. I don't think there's going to be. Oh, there's a battery in there. I still have that. Uh, okay. I need to move this. When did these become inactive? Can't full. touch them. Yeah, you go over there. Give me this stuff. It's so panic mode right now. You have interior plates? No, you're curious and whatnot. Giant. What else did I? I know I missed some more of those during all the panic. I apologize. Corsair. Need more C I W S. C I W S. Uh, oh no, I need pipes. Well, first we're gonna get this online. Because even if they start taking damage, if they're just gonna ram, how do I stop that? I mean, I guess I'd have to have so much firepower. Are we really gonna have to do this? Am I gonna have to build around this? Inventory. 
Yeah, because it's not even picking up close to enough to make a difference. Right? Yeah, I'm picking up like three, 3,000 at a time because it's all of our magnesium from our mine. You know, the whole point for building on this base. Inventory full. Maybe I can get it low enough to move it. Nah, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna build around it. <laughs> I need I need this. Oh, it's, it's almost destroyed anyways. All right? Is it like you can't place there? No, I can't. I have to go all the way back. Go back one more. This is so silly. If I have to do it. What? Oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? No, oh, come on. What shenanigans? All this to get Bob operational. I can't believe we lost the cargo bay. They must be aiming for the cargo bay, because I think they did that. No, I killed the last cargo bay. Never mind. There was a bit of a mistake with the last cargo bay. That's what happened. Um, I can still get all this online. What we'll do is we'll take apart one of the refineries. That should have enough motors, I'd imagine. Panic mode. But it's not gonna have the interior plates. Are you? You don't have interior plates. No, you don't. I do have steel plates and a ton of them though. What'd you miss? Oh, you nothing. Nothing. Everything's everything's fine here. Just the cargo bay exploded. The reaver showed up. Decided that. What? What was that noise? Ooh. That was a uh, connector, but it was a very damaged one, so I didn't get anything for it. Damn it. Ah, rip off my inventory. Steel plates? What are you, what are you got left? Construction components and steel plates? I'll take those. Um, you I kind of want to keep, because you're in a functioning large battery. Did we lose the assembler? No, we still have the assembler, it's just not piped to anything at the moment. Yeah. Alright, I have a plan. How big is the assembler? I have a, I have a plan. Basically put the assembler in the in the grid. Energy critical. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna die for not having enough energy on. How much one am I at? Do I'm at nine? All right, hang on. I, I, can, I can get this on there. Just two seconds. It's here. So you know, that's a bad place for it. I'll be fine. Just gotta put this here. Okay, gotta go recharge. Uh, can't believe. Look at the base. <laughs> Uh, resurgence, emergence, Nebula says for the Homeworld uh, expansion pack we were talking about. Red alert, all hands, battle level station one. So we can set up a red alert system that'll go off wherever locked. I wonder if that works now with the with the Reavers. Do they lock us when they attack, you know? Let's put some less chaotic music on. Oh, it's military. It's great. Okay, we're all right. This is fine. I don't want to have to abandon this base. Inventory full. So much to pick up. All right, assembler. Let's get that online. Let's get these pipes ready. Sorry, assembler. Just dumping stuff everywhere. That means we're going to shut down the left-hand side of the base even farther. Feels bad, man. Oh, I need those. I need those motors. Where do they go? I need those. Do not lose those. Like the most important thing I've got right now. What's that noise? Stop it. Stop making noises and trying to move on your own, Reaver.
It must have an active gyro somewhere if it's still trying to move. It looked like it it dipped. I think so. I took out the gyro. Oh, there's, there's, yes, give me that. Give me those. Incoming target. Military escort. We're okay. I'm trying not to abuse the civilian traffic. I know it was brought up. Somebody PM'd me and they were like, you could adjust. It's like, well, yeah. But... All right. Online there, online there. Can't move the rocks, so I've got to build this, like, above it. Good grief. Oh, no, I had it. And then this will get Bob, I think, online. We'll have to check and make sure the rest of the... We're going to do one of those. The rest of the setup's there. What am I missing? Small steel tubes. Interior plates and construction components. All right, I'm actually missing quite a bit. Well, there's no chance. All components successfully withdrawn? Why do I doubt that? Oh. Didn't put that one on there, but this should bring us back online. Partially. All right. Yeah, we should be back online. I mean, as much as we were before. All right, let's double check. Da, 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 da. All right, you're good. You're welded. I'll paint this stuff later. Uh-oh. Uh One of these is not like the other. <laughs> You're panic mode. Ah! How's the inside looking? You guys haven't seen the inside of this yet. This is the weapons storage facility. Had better days. I'm gonna have to take some stuff apart. Uh, you do have small steel tubes, so give me them. Inventory and you have lots of construction full. components. Give me those. None of that does me... Oh! Oh! Bob's working on it! Good job, Bob. He's picking up all the scrap. Awesome. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, we needed to finish... This. I don't think I got interior plates. I didn't. Actually, I'm so glad we used... We built this. Because if we hadn't built this... Actually, give me, give me more interior plates. I'm going to need more or less all of those. And I'm going to have to make some. I don't know if I've got the... I do have a little bit of iron left. I do need to drop off the iron from the um, from the trip we went on, too. That would get us going. Let's see. Always could dig under the magnesium boulder, giving clearance for proper piping. Uh, that's true. Just talking about, like, building the base under, or just... Oh, there's so much that needs to be fixed. So much that needs to be salvaged. Inventory full. Uh, I wonder if I can paint that pink yet. One of the mods we might try out today is the hacking computer to see if it still works. It's an old mod. It's a really old mod. Uh, I don't know if it works. But it, what it would do was you bring some parts with you and you could hack an enemy grid. Basically, it was a solution to having to find uh, every single block that... It hacking but it took time to do it so you disable an enemy craft you know you'd have already taken out all their weapons they're not going anywhere and then you could get close enough to it attach this computer to it and it would slowly hack through okay uh bob will get to that when he has a chance i think i easily on cleanup first then he'll be on uh grind let's clean up the rest of the, the scrap begin repairs Drop off that iron, too. Bob can do most of this, but what I want to see first is how much have we lost. This can be removed. This is extra parts at the moment. This is extra parts. Give me this. Give me this. So that we can hook up the other... Oh, no. How far would did this go before? <gasps> this whole weapon system is just down right now. And the mine is down. Completely. Where's my mining rig? Trash cleanup is turned off, so it shouldn't have been trash cleanup. Did it float away? That is a lot. 
of pistons to just float away. Might have been destroyed in the fight. McGowan, thanks for the five. Hey, Shaq, just jumped into the stream and see lots of things on fire. What happened? I got attacked by a large reaver ship, which decided to ram the base. That's what happened. It was bad. It was real bad. Real bad and real scary. Uh, we need a... We need a docking port. Just a simple connector. Gotta drop off this iron. Actually, don't don't waste it. Let's just do it manually. All right, I need the mining ship. This is full of iron. Actual iron, too, not just stone. Oh, man, oh, man. Okay, how can we... That's priority. Probably getting the weapon systems and all the piping back up has to be priority, but that'll also take the longest. Hmm. Hmm. Park too far away. Gonna need a lot of steel plates, too. Just dump this in here. There's one piston left. Yeah, I saw it deep in the... At least the, the drill was down there. I don't know if I saw a piston. Man, this coloration's terrible. Let's grab this color. All right. To get this weapon online, back online, we're going to need to run pipes. I don't have any interior plates, do I? All the way across here. And then this one came up connected there. I can disconnect that one and use those parts and run it back down to here. So we need to go back down. Actually, what we'll do is pop these off and we'll go underneath it. This is too exposed. We need to armor this all up. That's one thing we can do. Maybe switch to heavy armor. That's the flanged one. Oops. Weren't reavers made to use any weapon that's enabled? Yes. Yes, they were. It turns out. We found that out last week. Doesn't shock me because of who made the mod. Um, you know, he's done that before. He's made his mods use that. So, this is the one of the best PvE mods I think you can play. Especially just getting started. Just be ready for it. All right. I think a lot of the fun, this is just my personal advice, a lot of the fun comes from don't save scum, just live with what happens. It's part of the adventure. Sometimes you might have to abandon a base. We're going to take these off. And we're going to use these. Inventory. On the other side. we got to get this weapon online. This will bring on the weapon on the roof. We're going to make ammo too as soon as we finish this. This will bring the weapon on the roof, the weapon on the right side of the base, back to full operation. Take all those parts. Thank you. And give me more parts. But I had so many extra... ...conveyors. Need a little bit more. Inventory full. Shit. Just dumped that all over the place. Okay, we got green lights. Green lights all the way to the turret, right? Yep. Turret's okay? Turret's fine. Uh, and this is already hooked up on this side. Also, green lights. Turrets are online. Turrets online there. Time to order some ammunition. And then maybe get that turret up. Yeah, production. Give me ammunition. Give me assault cannon rounds. And I want 50 rounds. I'm not messing around this time. Eh, missing a round. Get it. I'll, I'll see myself out. It's bad. Somebody mentioned text in chat. The bad puns just came out of my mouth. Uh, I noticed we're not making anything. Is it because we're out of iron? Is it because the refineries are doing nothing but magnesium? Yep. 
There we go. Ammos. Have you seen... Maybe you need more bombs? No, that is not the answer when you don't have resources. <laughs> Building more bombs does not make your stuff build faster if you don't have the resources. Also, I don't want to. I don't want to cheese the bobs. You can have like twenty of them. Um, I don't want to cheese them. I'm actually going to get rid of them uh, once we leave. I think we're going to go to the robot mod. It's just they don't work at the moment with voxels on Asterisk. That's something that's going to have to be fixed or added to. I guess "fix" isn't the right word. It's a feature that's coming soon. I'm told. Uh, I kind of want that battery, so let's grab that battery. Did I bump it? I didn't bump it. Shit. I'm in a hurry, but I gotta stop rushing. Oh damn it. Speaking of rushing. Got it. Let's take you to the hangar. Bobs would fix the dented armor. Not if I don't have the resources to fix them. I don't have any steel plates. And that armor is actually damaged. It's not just like dented. If you notice. Oh, that's actually not dented. You're right. It would fix the dented armor faster. You're not wrong. Oh, no, they didn't disable that. I got confused with what they disabled was uh, deformation blocks doing damage to other blocks. They got rid of that. So you won't randomly lose, like, the interior of your ship and still have the exterior sitting there. This is barely functioning still. Uh, I don't... What happened to my... What happened to my landing pad? It's just gone. Okay, how are we doing on that ammo? I think I'm going to set the bobs to grind before well. We need to get rid of that ship. So we can see what's going on here. Build and repair... Um, grab before well. Get to cutting. What was that? That was a distress signal. This track is good. Uh, Dylan said earlier, I love what you build and do in Space Engineers. Thank you, sir. Sorry that I missed your um your twenty dollar donation. It was probably right in the middle of the chaos. <laughs> so thank you, sir. Uh, and it, it's just Virgil gave me the the acronym for SWAT Cat, which is the base name. Karen McGowan, thanks for the five. Hey Shaq, just jumped into the stream to see a lot of things on fire. I read that one. It was Dragon Lore that dropped the new one. Uh, may need to step it up with 500 AC. Eats rounds quick. Uh, I mean, you're not wrong. I feel like a lot of that damage might have been. You know, I'm not so sure, because it wasn't its weapon system that did the damage, right? It was the, the ship itself. I almost think we need to put, like, roll bars around the whole base. <sighs> like, what would that look like? Like, these big curved steel... That'd be a lot of iron. Over the top, you know? So when it hits, like, it loses its momentum on that, maybe? Given the weapons more time to blast away? Or you are not welding this. Oh, it's grinding it. Why are you grinding that? Must be because it's not powered. It must be set to... <gasps> That's what happened to the front of my base. It ground it down because it wasn't powered and it must have been detached at one point when I was changing the shape of the hangar. Ugh, let's go fix the mine. The mining transport out there. I have steel plates for it. There was no piston in here either. Oh, lame. Build station tank traps to act as speed bumps. Yeah, but that doesn't really make sense, does it? And, oh, there is one piston left. I see what you guys are saying. This is the one piston. Well, I actually tapped this mine out pretty well. The magnesium is still very thick. We got plenty of it down here for our weapons mine. But it might be time to bring the mine underground, I think was mentioned. And I'm, I'm not against that. Like, we could cap the mine. Let's cap the mine. 
and build the whole thing underground. Yeah, yeah, I like this plan. Uh, how much steel plates do we have? 200? Yeah, we can, we can cap it with that. Um, I think we're gonna cap it at the top layer, though. Switch colors. That way, it's a little more defended. Maybe we'll do, like, a couple of layers. Or we'll do one layer of heavy armor on top. I don't know. Figure it out. So, ah, it's heavy armor. The only reason I think most of us don't use heavy armor is because of how long it takes to actually weld the damn blocks. Probably shouldn't waste a bunch of steel plates on this right now. But it is going to be where we get a lot of our resources, so maybe it is worth it. I'll be fair, this is where we're going to get a lot of our resources. Though we did lose the cargo bay, we gained an entire enemy ship's worth of salvage. What I'm not thrilled about is the exposed cargo bay either. With Weapon Core, heavy armor has an actual use. I do have Weapon Core installed. I also have the rebalance, so light armor isn't nearly as crap. I'm helping Bob. He needs help. Should double check the weapon systems, make sure they're actually well armed. Bedrear says, Jack's weapon and tactical combat assessment trainer, and thus far your performance has been below average, Captain. We may have to demote you. But the content check. Ham? I wish, man. I wish. So, Ham just asked, will we see the return of Happy Meals? Happy Meals was the name of the custom missile. Using a custom missile creation mod. Oh crap, we're not done yet. This weapon's not actually attached. Uh, the reason we probably won't is because that mod doesn't work anymore. Yeah. So, it's pretty sad, but, um, all the comments basically say that it just doesn't work. And it was having troubles back when we were using it. Little, little known fact, back when, um, the cool guy actually happened. I don't normally tell people this, but I'm gonna tell you this. Uh, the cool guy incident, that was actually a sign of one of the issues with the mod. So the mod had a bug. I didn't know it at the time. Actually, I didn't know it until about a year later. You could fire the first missile and it would fire fine, but you'd fire the second missile and half the time, it wouldn't detach from the grid it was on and it would take control of the grid. Sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. And now, from what all the comments are saying for that mod, it's 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 been abandoned. So hopefully we get another custom missile mod like that. Maybe that mod author will come back. Because it was one of my favorites. It was a mod where you could build a missile at a guidance. It had, like, tracking and lock-on mechanics and everything. And you could customize the weapon, you know? It was very cool. It was a very cool mod. Uh, Bill Cleaner is empty. Not enough Vespian gas. I need that one right there. There we go. Give me all your components. Oh, wow, I had all of everything we needed to. Yes. Invest in a base shield. Oh, let's go check the reactor. Oh, man. So the reason we haven't gone for a base shield... Oh, look at the walkway inside the base! Oh, is because we haven't been getting... We haven't gotten this online yet. That was the next step. Build the superconductors and the reactor components. Once we had the power, we could run a base shield. Because right now the whole base is running... Oh, it's really dark in here. On two small reactors. It's not good. steel plates. No, but I'm about to. Thank you. I need to be able to at least walk through the base. Stupid Reavers blowing up my everything. The Lamos. Alright, let's just take this out. We're not gonna need this here. Ah! Why was there silicon and magnesium in here? Because it's considered a cargo container. If you don't know what that was, that was a mod that's an access hatch. So you can just access your cargo from something that isn't just a cargo box. 
It's got a little computer on it. It actually looks quite cool. Oh, poor face. Oh, it even destroyed the windows with the RAM. There is a mod to turn vanilla missiles into guided missiles. Thorn, do you know if it works if the if it's a turret being operated by the AI? If they track their targets? Yeah, this is the weapon bay. Oh yeah, we were gonna open this. Boop. And bring that battery in here. Oh, he ate the battery. Because it was enemy, and he must be set to grind down enemy blocks. Bob. Oh, yeah, I'm still recharging. Bob is hungry. I'm going to leave this open, because I have a feeling I might need that ship. And when every time I've needed it, it's been an emergency, so. Let's, um, let's turn it around. Am I clear? I'm clear. And we can fly out of here fast enough. Fast and airy. Batteries taste good, try on. Damn it, Bob. Alright. Double check the weapons, check the ammunition. I used the wrong kind of pipes in my panic. But unlike the pipes, this actually takes on the textures. Can we do, like, warning stripes on these? Really? You'll take on the camo texture, but you won't take on the... Hang on. Wait, what if it's yellow? Really? But you'll use... What was the other one? Camo? Woodland... But you'll take on the woodland camo... That's dumb. That's dumb. Disappoint. What's the refinery doing? Uh, are we completely out of everything but stone? Yes, yeah, that's not much stone left. I need you to disassemble, disassemble 300, 500 of those so that we can start making. Oh, how are we doing on silver? Can we make reactor components? The big shadow just cast it over. And my immediate reaction was, it's a giant reaper ship. Silicon. Silicon, magnesium, gravel. Where's my silver? I actually don't know what the icon is for silver. That's what the problem is. Plat. Let's see. Platinum. We've got oh, 1,000 gold. Not great. <laughs> Uh, 28,000 silicon. We have plenty of silicon. Do we not have... We might not have silver. I thought you gave silver. No, you don't. Are reactor components the only thing that gives silver? Metal components. Yeah, silver is going to be a pain, isn't it? I can go get silver. Probably more important to be making ammo, though. Why aren't you disassembling this? Oh. Did we lose all of the thruster components? Yep. We're finally out of thruster components. They died of the explosion. Well. We're just going to make another... Another hundred rounds if we can. Um... And go get some silver. I guess the plans to get a base operational are a, uh... Oh, oh balls. How far away is the nearest silver mine? There's one silver mine 11 away. That's not so bad. Let's go to it. Hey, Red Velvet Fox. Thanks for the five. Appreciate you. I, I think it found me. Oh, we gotta get oxygen. Um, I think that damn reaver found me because it saw something moving. Like they can pick up moving moving targets, or maybe it, you know that's their way of dealing with engines and stuff. That has to be it, right? 
because it didn't see me before, and I was it was getting farther away. Silly, silly reavers. Just woke up, so I quite a bit to catch up on later. Ah, well, welcome. I feel like I haven't been streaming for very long, but a lot has happened. I don't know if I really want to take the sh whole shuttle over there. Now nah, let's take the whole shuttle. I'll take the whole shuttle. Everything needs to be like redesigned at the moment. Because this thing is about to run out of power. You should go get some uranium too. I'll pull some out of the cargo if there's any left in there. We don't even have a connection point on this. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do it the ye old fashioned way and just load it into the cargo bay by hand. It's fine. Alright, you're recharging. Oh, I didn't turn off your. Didn't turn off your engines. So you're gonna burn the crap out of it. Diablo! Thank you for the five. Hey, Shaq, managed to. Managed to stream again. Would love to see you play some more Sins of a Solar Empire with Gull Gaming. Did you know he came back? I caught him streaming, it was like three weeks ago, but he was streaming. I hadn't seen go stream anything in a while. Okay, got my stuff. That's welding. We're gonna go get some silver. If we can get the... We got the turrets online and we've got ammunition, so. I'll be back, base. Just gonna head out to the store. What does that logo mean? <laughs> the, the shield turned blue. I need to look up the shield mod and find out what these symbols mean, because this has changed. Can't wait to get on a planet. It's gonna be fun. What else we got on here? There's the vanilla homing missiles you guys were talking about. This small mod adds homing capabilities to vanilla 200 millimeter missiles. You mean making missiles missiles instead of rockets? And makes them follow the target. A specific block that is targeted on the lock to create this random system on the block. While this is still early version, it should be stable enough for testing. I'll support multiplayer. Oh no! Can enemies use them because they're all vanilla? Enemies can use them too. Anything exploded yet? Out of the entire base. No joke. Everything was on fire. It's it's. I've had to strip tons of systems and cobble it back together. Not ideal with weapon core. Gotcha. And then thank you. Open the bay. Close the bay. Open the bay. Close the bay. Open the bay. Close the bay. Some put lights in here. I'd be more inclined if I wasn't on fire. Does the update make it worth returning to space engineers? Depends on what you how you think about combat and if you are already playing modded combat um i really like the update the update adds a lock-on system and the ability to control turrets through a block meaning you don't need a script anymore it's very easy and, and very easy for anyone to use um it also comes with a lot of and it, i think interesting blocks new weapons and whatnot but if you're already playing modded a lot of it will feel like hey that's cool that it's in the base game now but i already was playing with that um, I mean, there is the, the case that it is just easier to use. You know, weapon core isn't always the simplest thing to use. Comparatively to, like, space engine... Space engine, I saw red. Space engineers is uh, right-click to lock kind of deal. Also, there's a there's an aim indicator now, which is quite cool. I think it's one of the best updates they've had since Planet. 
That's right. He said it. And I'm hoping that all of their future updates add this level of, like, gameplay enhancement to it. Like, every update should have a core gameplay enhancement. All the other stuff is great, whatever, but the updates, those should have, like, you know, locking on was a big deal. Suddenly, combat's actually something you can do in Space Engineers and have fun with it without having to have mods. Hey, Diablo Wolf, thanks for the two. Have some coffee on me watching your SC Star Wars mod. Oh, this mod series? Yeah. I think those are pretty outdated right now, all of the Star Wars mods. I think those modders have uh, moved on to other projects for you know, right at the moment. Who knows? Uh, they might still be still be maintained. I'm not so sure. Okay, we got silver 80 meters. Uh, uh yeah, it's not surface, it's definitely under the under the into the ground. I feel like there's a version of the shuttle that could be built where these are actually kind of in it and you can jump in from the inside like there's a better there's a better version of this that i want to make but that's space engineers there's always refinements all right we're going for the silver i forgot to grab the fuel let me let me grab some fuel real quick i'm gonna borrow some fuel chariot I mean like just a just a little bit oh you've got 30 in here you've got more than the base <laughs> get some of this the juice what the juice hey look at that now we're not running out of power right click that's nickel. Actually, I need nickel, too. Wouldn't mind grabbing some of that. Focus. Need silver. Need silver enough to make a large reactor, so it's probably going to take a whole cargo bag. Spin me right round, baby, right round. Making a hole to the silver. Right round. Thirty meters. It's a mine layer. It's civilian. We're all right. Nobody panic. You should build a turret on your base with six assault cannons. Do you like a custom turret that chews through ammo? I mean, you're not wrong. We can make a way more powerful custom turret. Or have one that's just, like, 20 Gatling cannons. There's all ways to do that. It looks so broken. Uh, we don't know how useful that would be, though, because I'm playing with the rebalance mods. And when it in there is connected, correct, blah, blah, blah. balance mods. We're almost to the silver. Seven meters. There it is. There's the goodness. Well, it's not, it's not uh, Reaver. That's all I care about. Does anybody know why all of the ships that are supposed to be civilian are coming up pirate for me? Like, none of the other factions have shown up. It's been only pirates and Reavers. Though they've been obvious, like, that's a military faction, right? Military mine layer. Yet it's, it's labeled pirate. I have some questions. The stone wasn't going anywhere because I was right-clicking. If you right-click while you mine, you don't actually mine anything. You basically just delete the voxels. 
if you ever need to make like a... Have I made my own faction? Have I made my own faction? I think so. Yeah, I made my own faction. I am my own faction. I am the law. Justice for Carl Urban. He needs to get another sequel to Judge Dredd. That shit was great. Shame on everybody who didn't go see the Judge Dredd in theaters. That movie was so good. It just didn't do well in the theater, so I don't think we're ever going to get a sequel. <laughs> 180 hours that I never knew? <laughs> I don't know if that's sarcasm or if you're being for real. Or... If you didn't actually know, I'm happy to help. There's there's all kinds of silly stuff in this game that I'm still surprised. I'm still surprised on occasion. People will be like, hey, don't you know if you just do this, Shaq? Oh, wait, what? What do you mean that's all I had to do? I brought a lot of crap with me. Balls. Um, I'm actually going to keep the stone, too. Because we need the iron. Is that all I got? What? The hell did I mine? It's all stone. Damn it. Wait, the refinery on this thing can refine s um, silver? I'm impressed. I didn't know that. Have you checked out the Northwind weapon pack yet? Uh, not since the tournaments. Does it work? Derek? I have not. Actually, so here's the deal. If I install weapon packs, I haven't installed any weapon packs for, for reasons of self-preservation. <laughs> The Reavers, I know I need to get a connector. It's on the list of things to do, guys. But I'm just trying to get some supplies back to base. Okay? All right, don't judge. Um, the Reavers will use those weapons against me. And I don't know what those weapons are. So, yeah. I'm taking the stone with us. Because it'll be, it'll be refined. Yeah, I keep clicking the wrong button. I'm not using the modded version. I'm using vanilla. So... You seem low on chaff. You need to fill up. Oh, great. Yeah, you'll never let me forget the time I bought 16 million chaff instead of, like, 16. Was that... It was, in, it was an X3, wasn't it? X3 or X4. It was, no, it was X3. It was X3. Because X3 had the goofy... Has the goofy UI. Are we full? Are we done? Nope. Still got spots that can hold the stuff. And then we're just going to fill up on um silver one more time there's no way that's enough silver for a large reactor i'm going in you said earlier you don't want the chariot to have a connector i know the the comment was more hey i'm aware it doesn't have one not i'm gonna actually put one on there i don't think i'm going to maybe i don't know because hmm. I was going to use the chariot to, like, tow our stuff through hyperspace. But now I'm not sure if that's going to be the best way of getting all of our supplies to the planet we're going to. Basically need shields if you're going to give Reavers the Northwind weapons. I mean, hell, they're doing plenty of damage without them now. That's for sure. They are, it's not like they're doing an insignificant amount of damage to the base without fancy weapons. The chat always remembers. Retractable landing gear. Do MA pocket gear. It's better because you actually don't have the annoying hitbox. What annoying hitbox? 
Is a hitbox problem? On retractable landing gear? It's the size of the landing gear. Reavers with large block torpedoes. I do have the t missile torpedo mod installed. <laughs> oh shit. They can have that. You know, we still need to test. Uh, turreted missile system. That's what we're gonna do today. That's on the that's on the list of things to do. All right, we got the silver. Probably a shit ton of stone. Um, yeah, we need to test that. Okay, I just need to get turned around. Just let me turn around. I click the win. There we go. Make the hole bigger. That's the solution. See, now, Sultan, that was the one weapon they wouldn't be able to use, funny enough, would be the Happy Meal, because that's a custom... That's a ship, basically. You have to build those. Reactor, thrusters, you know, all that jazz. So it wouldn't be a normal a normal weapon, like a turret or a, or a cannon, which I do need to attach some cannons to our sh shuttle. I need a weapon system on this shuttle. Maybe some auto cannons would go, would go well. And connected... All right, we got some, ugh. we got some goods. You know, I'm going in there and I'm gonna mine some just for my inventory sake. Give me some silver. Help at all, I can't see anything. The lighting will change when we switch, when we jump out of here. Yeah, I can't even see what I'm mining. It's fun. Wow, this is taking a long time. Okay, get out of here. Where's the exit? There it is. Let's stop it. Boop. Back to SWAT cats. How often do you? Reavers attack. There is no timer on it. It's just by chance whenever they're passing by, and then they have to see me. Last time I made the mistake of thinking that once they passed by, I was safe. So I went out to go get some ore with a Reaver still on the scope. And I'm guessing they saw me move, which is kind of a cool callback to what they're based on, which is the Reavers from Firefly. They were like, don't run, or they'll, they have to chase you, and a deal, right? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It's actually heading towards the silver again. So it saw me running and came at me. So if I had just sat at the base a little bit longer, I probably wouldn't have gotten attacked. Because I wouldn't have bothered. Whew, okay, we're on our way. Good grief. Recharge the energy. So. The, ref the basic refinery. Did you actually go through some of the silicon? Or some of the silver? No. I must have put stone in there. Yeah. Wouldn't it be fun to do corruption reavers at the same time? Oh yeah, because they fight each other. Yeah, Reavers don't like anyone. So you can get, you can end up in the middle of a fleet fight. One of the cool things about the exploration mod back in the day, the e, what was it, EEM? Um, though it, it uses some really old, like, trading mechanics and stuff like that. But way back, um, it was actually quite a cool mod because it introduced a lot of factions and things to find. 
and you'd come across like factions just kicking the hell out of each other. Kind of fun flying through a battlefield. And that was before all the all the big weapon mods and uh, weapon core making them, you know, not shit. <laughs> Great cat. We who are chat shall watch you. We who are chat shall remind you. We who are chat shall mock you. As it has always been, this is the way. No spoilers for Book of Boba in, in chat. I have watched it now. The series is over. Um, good. I loved it. I, I, I loved it. It was a lot of fun. It made me very excited for the Obi-Wan series that's coming up. I'm so down for that. Because it's a bright system, Sierra. Because the sky is bright and full of dangers. When we jump to our new solar system, it will be different. On our way back to SWAT Cat. Let's see, north wind? We got five kilometers, we'll be fine. Let's see. North Wind Weapons. Yeah, I've used these before. These were in the tournament. For sure. These were what? The rail guns, right? I couldn't tell you how good they are. Um, or how balanced they are. Did you used to watch SWAT Cats? SWAT Cats? Cap? Yep. I remember SWAT Cats. My cartoon time frame was like... I remember SWAT Cats. I remember Gargoyles. Um, I mean, I remember Ninja Turtles when they were airing. 80s kid. Um, Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters. Not the, not the, the newer one with the college students. Which was also pretty good. No spoilers for the new Ghostbusters movie. I still haven't seen it, and I'm ashamed. I'm a massive Ghostbusters fan, but I just... I haven't really wanted to go to the movie theater since all the COVID bullshit started. Well, I've been watching everything streamed. Just gotta wait till it comes out. Finally, fellow millennial who's seen SWAT cats, right? The Beetlejuice cartoon, anybody remember that? X-Men, yeah. X-Men was the first show I ever watched that had a ongoing plot. Where like, you know, one se one episode affected the next, so they actually had a connection point, and it wasn't just like one and done's. Beetlejuice with that intro song was yeah, it was fantastic. Yep. Hey Robert, thanks for the five. I'm a bit behind, but your dance with the reaver around the rock and your epic music choice made me laugh so hard. <laughs> I, I was like panic clicking to change the music. <laughs> and I was like, adventure music, that sounds right. Little did I know it was like medieval D D style adventure music. <laughs> you find yourself in a tavern in the city of something something. A cloaked figure sits in the back of the bar, staring. What do you do? I want to play some D&D. I spent a good portion of yesterday prepping uh, items for tabletop. For uh, the ongoing tabletop game I've been running for like two years for, uh, for Star Wars. All right, we're back. We have brought many things. Let's go park next to the cargo bay. I guess the goal right now is either go get weapons or get shields. If we're going for shields, we've got to get the reactor and the shields online. And I'm worried that we're not going to be able to do that in, in time. And if we take another hit like that, if we lose this cargo bay, this base is lost. We've lost this base. We will have lost all of our resources. And that's not great. It's not good. Okay, we're already packing silver here. Um... 
Oh, yeah. The drill is still full of crap. I mean, we still have our, our shuttlecraft, so... If everything goes really terribly, we'll switch over to the shuttlecraft. Um, let's get it closer. Let's get the whole thing closer. We'll switch over to the shuttlecraft, and we'll just do so a lot of good work on this thing and get it ready. Uh, but I really want to get this base online. I'm not giving up. It's just going to make our time on the new, on the next, the solar system really, really hard if we don't have weapons. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Custom turret? I could do a custom turret. I could do a custom missile turret with like torpedoes. That might persuade them to piss off. I wonder what I wonder what the torpedoes take to make. You know? Hmm. Okay, we need this. We need this. We need this. I don't think two large reactors could power the shield on a base this size. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they can. Can we build the shield or the reactor first? If we build the shield, there's a small chance that we can get it online. The shield's really expensive, though, because it'd be a large grid one. Alright, are we good? Are we empty? No. Still packing tons of stone. I love this cargo container. Industrial freight container. Very cool mod. Looks very neat. Has a has a vibe to it that kind of fits the new style of blocks. Go for the shield first. Battletoads! I remember Battletoads the game. I never watched the show though. Why is there silver in the build and repair system? <laughs> Uh, okay, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me, give me this. Because it's in the actual ship, right? Yeah, it's in the actual ship. Goofy thing. What you got? Give me that. Give me, give me this. Actually, do that. Industrial cockpit is in the mining ship. Bob, you got this, right, buddy? I believe in you. In the welding ship. Did I not grab that much silver? No, I guess I didn't. I thought I put a lot more silver in this thing. This thing's still got some in its medium cargo container. Also in its chair. It's so weird that chairs can hold, like, half a ton of resources. Okay, Bob. Grab this stuff for me. A couple of rocks for you. Is the mod list fully up to date? Uh, probably not, because I'm a bad person. Come to think about it. You're still prioritizing magnesium. Stop it. Put the magnesium, a hundred and something thousand magnesium. It's doing the job. Give me this. There you go. Okay, what would it take to get a shield generator? We need three blocks. We're gonna need the shield. Control table. You can use the table because it seems to be cheaper. Uh, ba -ba -ba. We need the shield emitter. I already got that. Shield controller, shield emitter, and that's actually it. Yeah, that's all we actually need. Uh, oh, it's so expensive. The shield emitter requires 200 superconductors. <laughs> Alright. 
I think we'll put the shield emitter in the middle of the base. So we're going to put... And it has to be clear of all other things. So we're going to put it... We're going to put it here. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. We're going to put it right here. That's actually a terrible idea. It needs to be in the center. Hey, uh, Bob, would you please be so kind? I think we'll put it right here. Shield emitter. So you need 400 field emitters. 200 superconductors. Oh, you need grab components, radio components. Ah, <gasps> uh, this is fine. This is this is why I don't think I have ever finished a large. Got a lot of gold. We have a lot of gold from all of those thruster components we took apart. Did I grab the wrong emitter? Balls. No, I believe you. I believe you. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's the... Da, da, da. Wait, wouldn't it work Inventory anyways? Full. Shit. Ah. Help. Help. Thank you. Yep. Oh, definitely grab that too. That looks important. You know what? It would should work anyways. Maybe not. That's the control table. Chip emitter, ship emitter, shield emitter. Chip, shield, stay, step. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it more? It looks like it's going to be way more. Uh, maybe we need to change plants. I mean, mostly it's just steel plates that caught, that's more. Everything else seems to be around the same. It's just a lot. That's 6,000 steel plates. No. No, 980 superconductors. Yeah, that's not going to happen. We're not, we, there's no way. We need a new strategy. Let's pause. Let's talk. Because we're burning time. Okay, actually, let me let me back up so we have, like, framed the base. We know the, the, the Reavers are coming. They're going to hit us again. Okay, I've got to pause. I've sent the UI off. Let's have, a, let's have a meeting, chat. We we're most vulnerable. Like, we're going to lose the base if we lose the cargo system. So... There's no way we're going to get a shield generator on at this point. And if the cargo system is the threat, maybe we bury a cargo system into the asteroid and then cover the top with turrets. It is a weapon manufacturing plant. And then we could start building out some, like, custom turrets, yeah. Yeah, build a large grid ship that sits at the base with a generator. Yeah! I mean, we could try that and, like, lock it down and have it, like, a modular shield. I just don't... It wouldn't be big enough because it'll set itself the size of the grid that we're on. Even if we made it bigger or we overloaded it, I don't think we'd cover the whole base. Turret satellites might be a good idea, Noki. Oh, I like that. So we... we, we get First, we get the cargo underground. And we armor it up. Or we armor the one we've got. We, hmm. See, underground means that we're going to have to dig holes and we're going to have to build the cargo underground or we could armor it and that would be a lot faster. We get some heavy armor blocks and we, we build like a dome around our large cargo container and then we weaponize everything. Satellite guns, last says. That might actually distract the Reavers too. Little satellite gun platforms. Very um, Rogue One Imperial, right? 
And they'd be relatively cheap. What would we need? We'd need... Uh, what would be the cheapest way of doing it? Probably <laughs> the cheapest way of doing it would be with... Um, make them small ship. Make them small ship with uh, turrets and and reactors. Or they're, or they're slightly far enough away that they actually capture some sunlight. I don't know. Ah, yeah, make a golden platform. Little baby ones. Little baby turrets. Decoy sats. I mean, maybe they'll ram that instead of us. I highly doubt that, though. Because the, the threat hasn't been their weapons. It's been ramming us. They've done all of their damage, almost, from suiciding into the base when they think they've lost. I'm smelling a lot of if coming off this plan. Yeah, Gideon, me too. Environmental dome over the base layered with turrets. Built out of what, Matthew? Or we or we move some of the more threatened objects underground. That's also a possibility. Then then the asteroid takes the impact. Yeah. And we could do a little bit of all of this. It's just now it's about prioritizing, I think. Moving some stuff underground is probably not a bad idea. Um, prioritizing. <sighs> Maybe arm up, armor up the... Yeah, let's armor up the cargo bay that's up here. Right? That could be step one. Getting new turrets online. Are we missing a turret? No, it's up. It's just hard to see. Is the coloration? Let's paint that yellow. Can I color this safety striped yellow? That would be really funny. No. Why are you gonna give me fancy color schemes and then not let me use them? Een. Hell, did I even buy that? Yeah, I had to buy that color scheme. <laughs> and I can't even use it. <laughs> Defense satellite and dig underground. Okay. I'm with you. They even started the hole for us. Look at that. We've got like a little hole started because of them. And we've got the mine, which we wanted to dig underground anyways, and we were capping. So. It's true. No, you're not. You guys aren't wrong. What is that? It's that Mayday signal. There's still a Mayday signal since the state we started this. so dark in this hole. I could bring the mining ship in here and put an ejector on it so Bob will just pick up all the goods. That's not bad. And then we could dig it out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. How are you doing on ammo, my little Gatling turret? Because you were getting work done last time. What? Why didn't you open... Where is its hatch? Here it is. Gatling turret's out of ammo. <gasps> Shit, stop making those. Damn it. How many of those dumb things did you make? Give me 25 boxes of ammunition. One thing we do have is magnesium for days. All of our refineries are completely <laughs> exposed. Okay, diggy diggy hole time and mining time and and let's dig let's dig some holes and let's build some armor. So oh, I don't want to cover up this cool model, but we don't have much of a choice. I don't even have heavy blocks on my bar. Heavy armor requires steel plates. Metal grids, man, they're expensive. Every block costs over a hundred. Missed the start of the stream. Holes everywhere. Yeah, it's gotten it's gotten bad, Mike. It's gotten real bad. All right, mine. Let's get some mining first. Let's get some more resources. Um, all the turrets should be loaded and ready to rock. 
Remote mines that you toggle on a beacon to lure them away and blow them up when they get close. I'm not convinced I could lure them. Like, once they come after us, I think they're going to come after whatever they find is the nice, the, the, the yummiest target. You know what I mean? Maybe you're picking up potato signals. Morph been playing SC again. Oh, no. It's not potatoes. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, let's go. Let's go make the mine a little bit deeper. Uh, I need to make an ejector for you. Oh, I have a connector. A connector acts as an ejector. Ah! Detach. Hey, uh, detaching from the shuttlecraft. I must have done a little bit of damage while I was detaching. I also need to weaponize the shuttle. I need I need a way to respond personally to hostile threats. Um, yeah, we just capped this, and now I can't go in there. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. I can fit through there. All right, connector. I need you to just start. Pooping everything out. Oh, something else made to turn on, isn't there? It's like. There's nothing in this ship? Get it, Bob. I believe in you. Uh, what other button am I supposed to switch for this damn thing? What's the force button? Like, force inventory through it. Collect all. There it is. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, chat's got it. Collect all, yep. It may have been a minute since I've used a collector. And not an ejector. No, my uranium. We would, yeah, it would pull it out of the reactors, wouldn't it? They don't have any kind of specialized priority. Do -do 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 -do. Hope you're keeping up, Bob. There's no way he's keeping up. Let's work on it. So what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of all the stabby bits so we don't just ram stuff on accident from the earlier mining. And getting us a bunch of iron for our future project. It's already kicked out my uranium if it has. Let's see. No, it hasn't. Aha! Apparently it is on a priority. It might be part of the rebalance mod. You can use the real orbit system. Uh, maybe. That's a really, really cool mod. It lets you set up actual orbits and you can see your orbit and your trajectory when you use it. Which is quite freaking cool. Let's scrape this wall and kind of even it out. Now, one of the things that I want to do is I want to start cutting, like, towards the base so that we can run cargo connectors down and through it. I'm trying to make room right now for more piston mines as well. Maybe sideways ones.
leave this guy in here for now. How fast is he collecting everything? Oh, he's doing okay. Let's run up. It's so dark up here. We're not going to be able to do large grid or heavy grid um, armor around this thing. There's no way. Not yet. But we can do a couple, like, spaced layers of lights. To give, like, an impact. This is what I'm thinking. We space these out. So if something hits them, like a rogue reaver who's sick of life, maybe this will be the impact point? Or they should change the colors of this. This is the cheapest defense I can get to give the guns a chance to knock out the enemy. We could even do two rows of this if we really wanted to. Um, I think that was a block out farther, wasn't I? Yeah, it was a straight cut, so... Unknown City, thank you so much for the five. I appreciate the support. I really do. Uh, it says, I love the channel. I love the channel. Love your Star Wars videos. Keep up the good work. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, I just got a message from Mr. Corey from the Fall of the Public mod. And he gave me early access to the new version. I haven't had a chance to actually sit down and play it yet, but I'm very excited to. And he sent me the patch notes, which were like two pages long. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, I got some cool Star Warsy stuff to do. It's gonna be fun. And I've got the new access to um, Awakening the Rebellion. Some media build for that. That's getting an update soon too. So all kinds of cool stuff coming out from the modding community. So awesome. Okay, just wanted to get this down. This gives us a. At least the chance that they won't take out the cargo container if they try to ram it. Some kind of scaffolding space to armor deal, and then we can turret the hell out of it. But this gives me an immediate response. Let's do one more row on the edge here. It's like a roll bar for the <laughs> for the base. out of necessity. Because I think the weapon systems are actually doing a pretty good job of knocking out their weapons. All right. If we end up wanting to, we can always seal this up. I need a lot more steel plates. At least it's just like 25 per, not a billion. Nicholas roll cage? What? <laughs> I'm having a <to> chat. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the warning stripes. Not gonna lie, that's not terrible. 
a little terrible because it's probably just too much. It's too big. Let's soften up these hard curves. So the base's armor grew ten times that day. The Reavers taught him a valuable lesson. Your base can't dodge. All right, we're gonna we're gonna paint that. I can't stand that. It's really bad. <laughs> I like I like the stripes, but it has to be in moderation. This is too much. Like, give me a little piece of it, and we'll paint, like, the bottom row here. Blastor blocks, they are hard to kill and they don't deform and destroy other blocks. That's not a thing in Space Engineers anymore, Thorn. And Blastor blocks don't have nearly as much armor as normal heavy armor blocks do. Not that these are heavy armor blocks. There's a reason we're not using the more expensive blocks. Because we're really cheap at the moment. Okay. How are we doing on refining? I bet you're doing the wrong stuff. Uh, you are. You've got 109,000 stone in here. So, but you're doing silver ore, which is great, but we're not focusing on silver ore anymore. The, the plan has changed. But you're eating stone. Refinery 2, you're eating... Oh, that's good. You're doing scrap. 14,000 scrap, because it used to be an enemy ship. <laughs> We've also got 275 rounds for the... Amu for the, the uh, all of the pew pew, which let me make sure is loaded. They are loaded, sort of. Good. Good. That's what I like to see. Do you have a connecting point? Oh, back here it does. You'll, you'll know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking put a turret back here. But it might attract fire. Oops. You know what? That's fine. I don't care. We need we need all of the pew pew. I'm actually gonna put a junction there too. Let's use the same cannons for now. I'll make custom ones at some point today, but we have a lot of parts for this? Yeah, I was gonna say, no way. Let's get the shuttle out of the way. Oh, we gotta weaponize you, shuttle. Where can we put weapons on you and pipe them? We can, we can... Oh, we can put them right there! Yes. Yes. We can do this. This is getting removed. This isn't gonna work out. We can hook up. We can poke up weapons here. And here. Cannon, please. Salt cannon or auto cannon? We already have a lot of ammo for the assault cannon, so let's stick with assault cannons. Also, bigger DACA, better DACA. Hey, Matthew, thanks for the five. Appreciate it. Make sure one turret has a lot of kick so the shell impact shows the ship's trying to ram use less damage. I mean, you're not wrong. Well, since we're building a station, we could put um, artillery cannons. Oh, we're already using artillery cannons. Yeah. yeah. Now that's the assault cannon. This is an assault cannon. I didn't grab the artillery cannon. 
artillery turrets. How do you... Yeah, you're way bigger. Ah, that's not, that's not a bad idea, actually. If we use a couple of artillery turrets, they would... Look how big this is. Like... It would, it would throw them. Yeah, it would chuck them. Maybe stop them from ramming us. We can move the Gatling cannon and put this big bastard right here. Top of the mine, good clearance. Uh, top of the mine isn't piped at the moment, but it wouldn't be too hard to make it piped. I'm gonna move this piston anyways. They call it a mine and it's really a battleship. I had so many plans today and none of them involved even more weapons on this thing. I was like, yeah, we're probably fine now. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah, we'll put more on later. Nope. Your panic. Oh, we're gonna cut that other bit off of there. No, oh, don't need the shorter. Need the conveyor junction. And he still plates anyways, give me this. Inventory full. Bring on the artillery cannon. It's not actually a really good clearance. We need to go up one more. Cut the sides off or something. It's not going to be able to aim down, is it? I can't wait for mods that allow voxel movement with the new scripts. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with it. Like, ha being on an asteroid that's just hurtling through space while you're building on it, that would be pretty neat. My question is, how well is all that going to run? You know, how well is, is Space Engineers going to handle moving voxels? Maybe it'll be great. Maybe not. Uh, what did I say I needed? Probably the usual suspects. Way too many of those. Give me like a hundred. Ah, nope. Totally forgot what I needed. Motors. I needed motors. Probably construction components. Mostly motors. And steel blades. Production! Give me motors. You've heard nothing regarding moving voxels. People keep talking about it in chat, and I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a rumor that started and hasn't been squashed yet. I need steel plants. Go fix those holes. Totally tap on steel plants. This is my surprise face. thing's operational, but is it piped? It is piped. Let's go make some artillery ammo. Nice big surprise for our Reaver friends. Artillery shells. Mm -hmm. 40 of them. Oh, come on. <gasps> Scratch that. Make Ten of them. I don't have the uranium. I don't think I have any uranium that's not in a reactor at the moment. Yeah, 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 that's gonna suck. Okay. 
Energy below. Oh, that's not the assembler. That's a refinery. Shit. Yeah, these require uranium. We're gonna have to go get some. Yikes, yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. I also need to move. I'm really close to the work that's going on over here. How are you doing on resources? I know you've been working on random stuff. Oh, let me recharge. Coffee! Mr. Coffee, help me out. You know, I mean, other than pulling out the scrap that's in here, it's hauling connectors and industrial cockpits for other stuff. Right now, it's gotta stay in here. How far away is the nearest uranium mine? That one was way out there, wasn't it? The crashed red ship had uranium in it. I remember right. We'll head over and get some. Oh, but before we go. Hey, Bob. Too much. Make like 2,000 of these. I'll be back. And in great enough. Oh, the mining ship's not in there. Hmm. It's uranium. I don't need that much. Let me just go take the mining ship over. Up, up, and up, up, and up, up, up. I don't want to be mining for too long. So you do fly better when I have all, all the things connected. This thing does not fly well when it's full. Whee! Oh yeah, we've got a bob on the um no we don't. Actually I took the bobs off. Because I'm I'm weaning myself off the bobs. What did Splitzy says all the time? Bob is a crutch. <laughs> He's such a troll. Oh bad. Not wasted levels, but he's getting there. I think he's spending too much time with wasted. Oop. Right? I don't have a bob on here, do I? I do have a bob. I have two bobs on here. We could totally do the throw out thing on this and um, have this pick it all up. Any hoozle. That's going to get building. Let's go get some uranium. Uranium. Oh, if only I could play songs I want to play without being smacked by YouTube copyright. We're on the move. There is a list of mods in the description. It is not every single mod, but it is the majority of them. Yeah, Andrew, I got you. I'm actually just going to use it since we've got two bobs on here. I just need to turn them on. Reactors in their glass containers for some reason. Oh, you're out of resources too? Shit. I've only got one reactor running right now. Um, let's 
go ahead and start slowing down at the same time while that's going on. Oh, you can walk. Yeah, we'll stop. Let's get some fuel in that reactor. Let me take from one of these. There you go. When the light is green, the trap is clean. Let's go. We've got the power. That did not help my power. Issues. Or what? Why is my power at 91% usage? Even when I'm not thrusting. Hey, Captain, will we see more of you in the wrong way up? Uh, probably not. I love hanging out with the guys. But the, the lag was so bad, I just can't take it. Wasted patience with, with really terrible connections. Remember, it hit the servers in Australia. So, it's, it's rough. It's really rough for all the collected clients. I think there was uranium at the crash rate ship. Let's turn it off, turn it back on again. Why aren't you turning on? All right, why aren't you turning on? There you go. Okay, alt tabbed. Ah, it's the shields. Shields will pull all the power they can while letting the ship work until they're full. Got ya. Good gold here too, but I think gold's not really the, the priority. Is it closer than you? Hmm, yeah. That's right. No, there's a, there's a patch of uranium that was exposed. Let's go find it. You know, there's something I really don't actually like about this cockpit. I think I'm going to change it. I think I'm going to get rid of that bar in the middle. It's kind of killing... There's the hole. Um, it's kind of killing my uh, perspective. I can't really see. Okay, plan here. Bombs are on. Go ahead and pick up. I got the, I got the mining ship already set up to dispose. So... Bob can do its thing. Detach. Thrusters on. We're going in. Not much if we're going to be close enough. Let's see. There they are. We're good. Yeah, I think I'll replace it with glass. Get it, Bob. Good job. got so squooshed. <laughs> it's not it's not the chill stream I was expecting. iron sticking out of my uranium. Don't mind if I do. Let's 
just take a look. Is he, is he keeping up okay? Or have I made a mess? He's keeping up okay. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's iron. <laughs> All right. A little bit of a mixed note here. Krabby Patty, thank you so much for the $20 donation. Enjoy a coffee on me, Shaq. I just wanted to say thank you for keeping me entertained while deployed. Ah, oh, you're very welcome. If you're allowed to say, I wasn't curious. Where'd you get deployed to? What branch? Dragon Lord, thanks for five. For a second there, I thought that you were flying a ship that was on fire. No, not this time. Understandable assumption with uh, past experiences, sure. Hey, I wonder if we're full. It's probably a lot of ore. Let's turn off the connector. The connector's... Uh, throw out, collect all. Turn off poop mode. Let's fill up. Capacity's not going up, and these this asteroids not disappearing. There it goes. That was weird. It was playing the animation, but it wasn't actually doing anything. EOD in the army. Gotcha. Well, good luck, man. Bye. Right, glad to uh, keep you entertained. here current and fellow servicemen there was somebody in chat in on twitch side of things it was like hey man i used to watch you in high school and now i've finished my stint in the military like, has it been that long Is that much time like it feels like yesterday that i was just getting out and going to college Damn space. All right, filling up the drill. We still haven't filled the drills up. Keep mining. I'm bringing back all the uranium. Almost full. Let's get some iron. There's more. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, we got to get ammunition for the new cannons, too. Those are going to be such a pain to use because they're so spread out, but it was a really convenient place to put them. We're going to have the X-Wing problem. I'm not going to have any convergence. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, helps to turn it on. All right. Right? Like, there's a, there's a version of the shuttle where we should be able to just access the nacelle ships without having to, like, go through the back hatch. Oh, 
Archer, you know that's my favorite. You know that's my favorite sci-fi fighter, right? The X-Wing, I ain't talking crap. It's because it's the best. Star Fury's a close second. Original, not the not the newer version they ended up getting. I really like the old school one. What happened to the rule of acquisition stream? Rule of acquisition stream. Um, chances are either scheduling conflicts, mod issues, or. It was right before the break. Might have been a mix of all three, to be honest. When I took a long break from Space Engineers. Oh, look at all the look at all the junk. Look at all the junk out there. Oh, okay. Now we gotta let's, let's focus. That looked like rocks. A little smattering of wreckage. Oh, Revan, come on now. You know that's not true. In your heart of hearts, you know the X-302 and the F-302 do not even compare to the X-Wing in Cool Factor. All right, this is a scientific fact. I can't stop. Uh, rotate the bear engines. Nope, we're all fine here. Uh, I'm going to put an ejector on this, I think. Make my life easier. E-Wing is the best wing. Get out. Man, Duad, you, you know what you did. Just, you're done. All right, you've had too much. <laughs> He's trolling me. Uh, Let's go throw out collect all. And then move away. Makes me want to have a, a collector. be really lazy about this. I have to be careful how I put this. I don't want to, like, damage the ship. First, let's go ahead and, if I can reach the button, close those. Or an ejector. Excuse me, an ejector. I think that would be safe. It's clear, isn't it? Is there one I can put on the bottom? Let's put it on the bottom. Extra safe. I'll remove it when we're done. Go for it. It's not... There's nothing coming out. You can't be that fast. What's happening here? I'm going to sit in front of it. <gasps> oh, it's ejecting air. Shit. I think it was leaking my air out. No. It wasn't pushing anything. I love the chat that I've started now. The shuttle one's... Oh, the shuttle one's grabbing it. Yeah, you might be right, actually. Let's turn those off. I'm not sure what it was ejecting, to be honest. Build... When was the last time I used an ejector? You guys are off. You guys were already off. Okay. As I say, there's no way you ate all that. Anyway, so I'm just gonna grab it. Why do you have these? Why do you do this to me? Hundred and fifty thruster components? Really? That was it. That's all I had. 
Okay. Should all be picked up by other Bob. Let's check the refineries. Working on the wrong thing, I see. It's not called cargo. It's called industrial storage container. It's got a fancy name and everything. All right, go through the stone first, then go through the magnesium, then go through the iron, then go through the silver. Yeah, that works out. Now let's get these emptied. Mag, magnesium. Nope, no silver for you. No silver for you. No magnesium for you. Work on that. All right, we'll have some fuel now. So we've got a battleship cannon now uh, here. We've got Gatling. We've got another assault cannon, assault cannon, assault cannon. We'll be able to make some more ammunition for that turret. We were buttoning up this. Oh, it finished the... Good. It finished our, our roll bar, I guess is the word we were going to go with our bash bar so it doesn't get destroyed it really bugs me that these aren't like buried into the ground i think you missed my donation earlier oh did i matthew uh no i answered it you asked about the acquisition stream i answered that i did i did Hmm. Debating on what's our next priority here. And get a secondary reactor underground or start making custom turrets. Did it really go through all of that stone already? I didn't see any stone except for what I put in there. There was like a hundred thousand stone in there. Yeah, it ate it all. Hot ah, damn. Good job. That's fantastic. I don't feel so bad about doing this now. Crap. I need more I need more parts. Give me this. those ammunition ports. And yes, we are playing with the rebalanced armor, so this armor should be a little bit more oomphy. Oh, look at what they did to me. They did to the base. We just took this whole section out. Terrible. Yeah, it's supposed to be... Oh, I did it backwards. I don't like that. Tide Defender was epic if it wasn't supposed to just be OP. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what it was. Like, every time they introduced a new ship that was a core plot point in the extended universe, like the um, the Lancer, it just had to be brokenly strong because it needed to be the scary threat for that book, right? So that's kind of what you run into. Uh, missing a window. Yeah, that's the ones that I want, but where's the pack? Yeah, they are window walls. Repairing the damage. I don't know if these were destroyed. Yeah, these were destroyed, weren't they? version did you use? Okay. You need to be the other way. The 
fix this. Weapon core doesn't support the custom turret block. Is that true, Brodo? In what way does it... Oh, shit. Does it not support it? It just doesn't work? Because I'm not heartbroken if we absolutely have to take out weapon core. I'm only using one weapon, which is the missile launcher, which was unable to hit the target effectively last time very well. We lose our missiles, but there's also a mod to make the vanilla missiles track now, so that's also a thing we can play with. We decided to plot weapon core until it gets a few patches. But I haven't experimented with it, so I don't actually know. Okay, re-armored. We got our walkways installed. Also some random blocks that need to be painted again. What are you? Oh, it's the sliding hatch. I like I'm out of steel plates again. I've got silicon for days. That's why I don't mind making these windows. Uh, why did I come in here to do this? Production. Make me... 3,000 steel plates. <laughs> Big in chats. Like, he's talking crap about the Empire and the... And the, um... And the def I assume you're talking about the um, the Defender. Yeah. But it wasn't. It wasn't any of those things. It was not cheap and easy to produce. That was the problem. But the canned it. Just think of what they're comparing it to. The damn TIE Fighter. Talk about cheap and easy to produce. I like how Rogue One shows that it's not like the TIE Fighters were completely ineffective against against X-Wings. All the X-Wings that broke one piece like get nailed. Uh. Production. All right. All right, we're looking pretty good now. We're looking pretty good. I think we're gonna dive into that, that hole again. The my layers out there. Don't get too close. I can't be held responsible for what this turret does to your face. Oh, shit. That was the artillery. I guess it's in range. I thought it was like two and a half kilometers away. What the hell? What the hell, Artie? Looking the wrong way. The rounds would come from this direction. Weapon core. I'll bet. What are your, what is your range set to? <laughs> You're three kilometers out. You're never going to hit that. Okay, let's have a talk. That's got to be weapon core messing with the turret ranges. Aiming radius is 3,000. Yeah, let's bring you back down to like 700 engagement range. Okay. An artillery turret. Let's set your aiming, yeah, radius to 1,000, shall we? Holy crap. You need to calm down. Guy was just minding his own business and passing through town. I need siblings. Give me all of this. Also, how many are you producing? Because you're going to need more. 3,000. Okay, you're doing good. So, let's armor this section up and then go underground.
also empty some of my inventory because I just grabbed 300 plates. That's a bit much. over it would be right about there. I know we have large tubes. I do believe we're out of construction components. That wouldn't shock me. Time to get into that hole and dig some more. I think we might take out Weapon Core. For now. Because at the moment I'm not really using it and it's made our weapon engagement range really, really, really high. Notice them engaging at really crazy ranges, but you may be onto something. Are you rebound running the rebalance mod for the new weapons? Uh, you know what? I probably should go in and look and see which one I'm running. Because if he's changed the weapon system since last time we played, that might be actually what it is. It might not be weapon core. It might be the rebalance. Has made combat engagements like, you know, a couple of kilometers. It hasn't caused a problem yet. The Reavers came in, we definitely got attacked, and they got so close because we didn't have ammo. I hadn't realized we were out of ammo. I'm wondering what I'm doing. I'm letting Bob collect up all the stone here. And cleaning up the, um, the mine because we're going to start moving some stuff, I think, underground as a backup. Might not actually have to, if I can get some more weapons up and get a secondary cargo container. I want to move everything. Oops. Just double check and make sure. Oh, oh, what happened to you? Detector components. You were attacked. I didn't realize this took hits. Uh, yeah, are you getting stone? Ba, ba, da, ba. Yep, 79 stone. Okay, 79,000 stone. It's doing the job. I almost want to make this like a ramp down, like take this out. Oh no, my painted pink is gone. Three, nope, 313. 100, 100. There we go. Paint it pink. Paint it. Oh, I can't paint you because you're broken. Damn. Switch to my other color. Get you out of the way. really cheap stairs.
building my version of Cheyenne Mountain out of this asteroid. where the edge of the the mine is now as I dig down. Good, good. So that wall needs to be dug because that's towards the base and I want to go underneath the base. sci-fi show ever oh stargate i love stargate i don't know if i would call it the best sci-fi show ever though i don't not on my list it's wonderful it's the right kind of cheese it's so cheesy cheesy deliciousness I think if I had to choose of my favorite sci-fi, it has to be the first, like, four seasons of Battlestar Galactica. Or not Battlestar Galactica. No, not even close. Um, Avalon 5. I love the drama, the politics, the comedy. I mean, the character development is the best of all of the sci-fis. TV shows. A lot of rocks in here. Pop's gonna be busy for a bit. But cool. We've got this dug out. I'll reinforce this section here. And then maybe do one of these. Maybe even paint that a different color. Let's get one more here. And this is the whole point of this base. Weapon manufacturing and a magnesium mine. And this is the magnesium mine. And I'm so happy. It's actually a really good mine. There's tons of magnesium in here. More than enough for our purposes. I almost think I should put like a door here. Or maybe just leave it like this. At least it's shielded from outside aggression pop this jerks kept blowing up blowing up my damn piston oh jakar jakar and londo those two are that that's what makes that show for me is those two Major car is actor rest in peace. All right, what do we got here? I'm thinking this doesn't need to have windows. We're just gonna wall this in with half blocks. There are no windows in our house. I 
are you waiting on? Oh, we're out of bulletproof glass. Time to use that gabillion silicon we've got. I know, Reverend. It's it's a bummer. What was it? Dylan? A Delan? I don't actually say her name. Passed away just a few years ago. Alright. Weapons. Weapons and ammunition. Uh, I put on cannons onto that thing, so let's get some cannon ammo. Production. Ammunition. I need assault cannon ammo. Give me like 30 more rounds. Because you only use magnesium. So that's what we're going to really focus on. I don't think we're going to be taking a lot of um, artillery ammo with us because we're just not going to have it. You wonder why the man was the mine was abandoned. My mind, I abandoned my mind. Yeah. Let's reprioritize some stuff here. There we go. Keep the iron flowing. of ammunition to the shuttlecraft. Okay, put them straight in the guns. How much can you hold? Three rounds is all you could hold? Oh, okay. I guess you're going in the, in the car containers then. Steel plates, take the silver. Take the interior plates. Take the construction components. Alright. We're loaded now. What's this? Nothing. Weapon core! Kilometers, damn it. Yep, they changed the ranges on the engagement. The A. So now all my turrets are out of range. Oh, come on, 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 fire! Fire! Everyone fire! Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. We need to start taking those hits for him. Base can't take that level of firepower. My freaking weapons aren't working. Because they're not in the... I'm starting to take hits. Shields are holding. It's taking rounds from the base. In the asteroids now. Oh yeah, it's starting to take hits.
heck? Did I just like ping something? I totally pinged it. Shields are it's just got a machine gun on me right now. It's not showing up as like a just a block I can use under block tools. Alright, I'm heading back to base. I'm still taking fire. Yeah, it's one of the things that Ski needs to work on is impact sounds. Uh, rounds, when they hit like voxels and stuff, they don't make a sound. Like, so you, you have an artillery round and it hits a, hits a spot on a planet. If you're over near the spot, you'll see the flash and the explosion, but there will be no sound. But the guns sound great when they fire. I think so. I think there might be a little bit of silliness. We're gonna head back. Hey, do you have any more Star Wars tabletop bombs? If so, can you send them to me? No, I do not. You can find the ones on the YouTube channel. A couple of guides, a couple of discussions. Um, but we just did a planning stream yesterday. So what we're gonna get back, I'm gonna save, we're gonna bop out. I'm gonna remove the missile mod, I think and weapon core and we're gonna go to vanilla weapons with the rebalance mod still enabled and see what happens i think there's some conflicts going on here yeah shoot on constant but i don't i just want to be able to left click i don't want to have to use the group system to do what should be something relatively easy i also don't want to have combat engagements at three kilometers so we're gonna we're gonna tone that back and go back to vanilla for now try out the the Combat as it is. Oh, yeah, we're missing half of our thrusters because we don't have the mine, mining ship attached. Let's head on home. I want to have combat ranges that, you know, I can see my enemy range. More sci-fi, less realistic. I want cinematic over distance. Alden, thanks for the five. Oh, it was very satisfying to turn all those turrets onto the right range and actually have them, you know, nail that target. Uh, so here is the actual mod list. If you want to pause it and take a look, um, retractable gear. Uh, let's see. Defense shields, jump lines, which we haven't used yet. There's weapon core. What else happened when we remove this? API. It might actually be the quality of life stuff that's changing the ranges too. And are you in chat? Did you change uh, weapon ranges with one of the expansions? I don't have actually the combat one, the AQD combat, so I would imagine no. Combat rebalance, I do have it. Okay, I thought I did. This is what makes the armor better. notes. Nothing. Nothing in here. Ugh. Bots. Let's load without weapon core and see what the weapon ranges are. Am I missing any other weapon core relevant mods? Oh, the missiles. Gotta get rid of the missiles. Da, 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 da. 
Hair of the Universe. That's a good name. It's a good name. Damn. You are weapon car only, right? You didn't make a vanilla version of you? Eh. Lame. Lame. Mm, okay, I think everything else is fine. Some decorative packs, interface, quality of life, small grid, HUD mod, build the uh, build vision, build info. Do, 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 do. Our boarding ramps that we've got on there. The hangar door, which is weirdly not gonna work for us. It's the small one only. We need to find the large grid one. Did you guys know? Wasted is, is just a mod. It's been running for too long. Like a Star Wars droid that hasn't had his memory wiped. It's getting unstable. No, that's a that's the mod name uh, that we use for a certain thing that I'm not gonna talk about. Because I don't know if it's public or not. Ah, oh, it's really dark. What happened? There it goes. Eyes have to adjust. That's right. That's the thing they did. Okay. So, let's check out some weapon ranges and see if we're still shooting at like 3,000 million meters instead of max combat range of 2K, which is vanilla. Yeah, I don't allow posted links by default due to... Ew, can we stop? There we go. Due to... You guys saw it. We get um, we get bots coming in here all the time. YouTube's got a terrible bot problem. And we gotta go see how much damage we took. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was looking at turrets. Yeah, alright, we're good. We're back to normal ranges. Nice. Normal ranges for now. I'm just very disappointed. Now we'll have, yeah, holes in the roof, too. <gasps> Sad times. Our weapon system is no more. But it can be replaced. With what I do not know. I mean, we could put... We could put assault cannons on there. Hell yeah. Like, twin assault cannons on the roof? Why not? Oh, uh, assault cannon, your bottom is like a... Oh, no, it's small grid. No, it's totally small grid. Yeah, we can do this. We'll have to do a little bit of adjusting, I think, to make it work. But, um, yeah, yeah. Let's just auto cannon the shit out of the roof. Uh, nothing wrong with weapon core. I mean, it, it might be it might be broken because it wasn't letting me fire, but it's still a really cool mod. I recommend you guys check it out. Most of the weapon mods use it as its base. At least they did. Um... I don't know what's going to happen now that there's actually, you know, a weapon system built into the game and targeting. It'll be interesting to see. Conveyor, if, uh, if that changes, if we start seeing more vanilla weapons using the vanilla system in targeting. I just think that's the biggest turret we can put on here. Like, we've already seen today a homing missile mod. I haven't tried it yet. We might. Uh, why aren't you... Oh, because you're the artillery turret. That would be awesome and a bit... A bit much. Uh, yes, it'll fit perfectly. Will it have clearance, though? Uh, yes. I think it'll have clearance, too. But hop But hop How clear, how much clearance do you have? Is it? Yeah, no, it's good. That's, that's fine. Why not try making an engineered turret? Because it'll be massive. That's why. That's the only reason. 
Um, if I were to engineer one, I'd have to use um, rotors, rotors and hinges, and it'll just be too big, and it won't look as smooth as these. We'll do it for a large grid. I don't think I'm going to do it for a small grid unless I've got a really good idea. And honestly, these are fine. I just wanted a couple of cannons on here. Okay, let's see. You need auto cannon ammunition. Let's go make it. Vanilla still doesn't come in close to weapon core. Yeah, but I think that's kind of ignoring the fact that you can just throw, you can just get into Space Engineers and play with what's here. And as people get used to the lock system that's in this, which is incredibly simple, they're just going to want new guns. A lot of people just, easy use cannot be overestimated. Whereas you throw in Weapon Core, you see all the UI elements at the top, and you're like, what the hell's happening? Um, I wouldn't be surprised the average Joe ends up just downloading whatever mods don't require Weapon Core. Also, you have to know about Weapon Core. To install it. Whereas most people are just going to be, ah, Space Engineers goes to workshop. I want guns! Do, do, Google search guns. You know how people are. This is the reason why Wabajack's getting so, so, um, popular with Skyrim. It's because it's not because it's better. It's because it's easier to use in some mods. It just does it for you. All right. Uh, I'm still going to leave you there. I just got to remember it's there if I ever try to land. Those should have been loaded. Let's double check that all that piping is working right. Three and three. Yeah. All right. We got guns. We got a little extra defense. Dependencies are automatically installed, so you don't need to install Weapon Core in your mod list. Ah. Oh man, is that going to piss people off? Imagine you don't know what Weapon Core is, and you're like, oh, this is a cool mod. You know how they are. They don't read the... Nobody reads the readme. Read the damn readme, please. Make a mod author happy and read the readme. Um, so they're going to be like, what's this? And then going to change how all their stuff works. Uh, was that weapon core, by the way, in Inra, that made it so I couldn't use just left click to shoot anymore? Or is that like some kind of conflict that I've got going on? Always read the read me. Read the words. Yep. Read the words. Let's reinforce this crash bar. one of the big complaints when Wabajack first came out. People were like, I don't want my, my mods in a mod pack. People don't read my, my guides already on how to use my mod. Now you're going to throw it into a 500 mod mod pack and then I'm going to get all these messages saying how my mod doesn't work because people don't know how to read? Like, yeah, but you said it yourself. They're already not reading the instructions. How is this changing anything? <laughs> Poor mod authors. Go read the comment section of any mod on ModDB that's popular, and it's just so much, like, unnecessary, spiteful crap for people who are volunteering their time to make fun stuff. I actually really like the, the warning stripes down there. You're not sure? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know what that would be. Why Why those weapons were no longer showing up? Um, actually, that's a good question. Are they working now? I took Weapon Core out. Does it show up in my Use button as a tool? Let's see. Yeah, it's in there now. Get all rid of all the missile stuff. Weapon test. Works now. Took out Weapon Core. Vanilla, and that's a vanilla weapon, too. Got me, man. I blame plain parts. <laughs> oh, I thought 
bulletproof glass again. Am I out, or are you just using it faster than I'm producing it? You should put some on the bottom of the ship. Yeah, but I like to land, man. Not that I've done a lot of landing, but... We got, we got cannons on the bottom of the ship. Which sounds so freaking good. So freaking good. Okay. Love the vehicles that are coming out of the new weapons and the turret system. Now people can make tanks a lot easier. This is what I want to know about. Teach me. This mod adds a homing capability to Venom 200mm missiles that makes them follow the lock on target. A specific block that is targeted on the target like it is random. So it just does it. No weapon core requirements. It just works. Let's try it. Vanilla homing missiles. We're going to try it. It always bugged me that missiles in this game, been called missiles since day one, don't missile. They don't track. They're actually rockets. Are you going to build the base shield eventually? Probably not because of how expensive it is unless I find that we really, really need it. All right, mods. What's that thing called? Vanilla homing missiles. It's a great time to grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a coffee or a tea or whatever, and uh, we can meet back here in, let's say, five minutes, probably less than three minutes. I'm going to go grab myself a fresh cup of coffee, and then we shall test out some vanilla homing missiles because I desperately want to make SAM sites out of custom turrets. The old Command and Conquer style, if you know what I'm talking about. With the hatch that opens, the turret comes up, locks on, and ruins the player's day who's made a bunch of aircraft. So, let's get this loaded up, let's get it paused, and then we'll test this. Alright. Oh, I get paused before we load in. Hey Dave, thanks for the five. I'm late again, back to the start for me to see what has crashed, clanged, or randomly exploded. Have a coffee on me. Oh Dave. Oh, he's going back to the start. Good luck. You'll see right away, it won't take long. <laughs> you could watch the first half hour and then just jump to where we're live. I think you would miss too much, except for a lot of the repairs. I'll be right back. And pause.
All right. We're back. Hola, everyone. Coffee is good. Uh, did I miss any messages? I don't say it. I did. Thanks for the two. Are you a nod or GDI type person? GDI. That's a weird question to ask because nod is literally like a cult group. A cult group of terrorists. Like, there's no in-between with that. They don't even try to act like they're anything else. <gasps> In lore, like in universe. Uh, the only thing I got going for him is Kane is hilarious. Also, um, obelisks. They have obelisks, which are funny. And their barracks looks funny. Looks great. It's just this like fists sticking up. Okay, that needs to be, that needs to be tweaked a little bit. Let's just give that a little, a little let's go with that. There we go. It ain't much Grievelin, but it's mine. Okay. Hey, look, we're not firing at random civilian transports. Or military transports. The Hand of Nod. It's their barracks, but yeah. It's their barracks. It's where they get their, their dudes from. Looks like a chapel. Uh, good old Command and Conquer. Um, I haven't actually finished this side. And then I'm thinking we need to start making some more weapons. Start using this magnesium mine for its original intended purpose. DACA. And ample quantities of it. You guys can expect a most likely a vote coming soon if you like the Empire at War series on whether or not we go Order 66. Basically, whether or not we're playing Rebel or Empire and kind of where the story is going to go with um, Shed and Shag. I have not decided and I'm kind of on the fence because every time I'm like, ooh, I could play the Rebellion. Oh, man, I could play the Empire. Uh, we're probably going to do Awakening the Rebellion when the new version drops. Is current me my plan. This fall is coming to an end. No shock to anybody who's been watching that series. Okay. We have it's space for a couple more weapons. I think I'm going to paint all the weapons yellow. They're really hard to see without it. Boop. Like safety yellow. You think you'll ever do another Stellaris again? Yeah. Dark Knight, probably. I've been on a very long hiatus from Stellaris. Last thing I did was that sponsorship when they had their uh, DLC come out. Hmm. All right. Can't put a weapon up there because it would be in the firing line of our artillery cannon. Let's play around with those missiles. That's what we'll do. Also, let's fix this goofiness. Where do we want to put a deployable, like, missile tower? Um, I don't want to go too far with the piping, so it would probably need to be somewhere we've already got pipes. We could it, armor up the refineries. Like we've done over here with like a bash plate. And then put a, build a missile turret off of that, off of one of them kind of sticking out this direction. Yes. Love this plan. Um, but we need somewhere to attach it to. The refineries are literally just floating. Just floating there. I don't have any steel plates. Do I? I do have steel plates. 125 steel plates. You're full of lies. Is that behind it? Yeah. Notice that I'm not going to be putting any upgrades on these. Not that kind of base. 
because it's already refined more than enough magnesium to make a ton of ammunition. I'm less concerned. Any more Star Wars tabletop? Um, we just streamed a bunch of prep yesterday, but the for a campaign that's not being streamed. I've waffled back and forth on whether or not to stream it. It's been a private game for over going on three years now. And every time I kind of come to the point that's like, you know, it's all about hoping my players are having a good time and helping tell their stories. Um, and I feel like streaming might get in the way of that. And the off chance that, you know, no matter what you do for work, if it's a hobby and you start doing it for work, it becomes work, you know, in one way or the other. And I really don't want that to be a thing. I love talking about it. I love discussing the mechanics of it. And there will be more mechanics videos, definitely, on the channel about Star Wars Tabletop. The other problem with Star Wars Tabletop is it's such a niche thing. Right? Like, FFG is not a beloved system by any means. It's not a bad system, but it's got some goofy stuff going with it. And to make it work for a long-term campaign requires the GM to do so much like home rules and balancing and it just kind of falls apart unless the GM is willing to put in just a ton of an effort um not to like toot my own horn here I know I was talking to Avi about it and he's a long-term D&D he's run multiple campaigns GM and he was like dude I tried I ran two sessions and then I gave up went back to D&D went back to 5e it is. It. Like he tried to run like a force character for against the players, you know, as a GM. Didn't say against, but for the for the players, and it just it's not good. I'm just gonna armor these completely. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll just yeah, we'll just box them in. No, I think the boxing in looks good. So, will I ever do another one? Maybe. We might do another short campaign, but I mean, hell, we didn't finish the last one we did, so I don't know. I would be hesitant. What about a post-game edit release from YouTube? Just editing work. Ah, uh, you know how long that would take? I know how long that would take. I tried it with that campaign. There is a video of a pilot. I've done a lot of pilots. I've never shied away from making pilots for the channel to see how, you know, what the response is to it and get me an idea of how long the series would take to make. Um, you know, Warhammer recently. I did two episodes of that. Those were pilots. And it would take so long to edit a tabletop, like series uh, to be interesting and the viewership would be so low that it's just not worth it it sounds really brutal but it's true i'd be spending all that time instead of doing other stuff like streaming space engineers and having a good time with that or playing warhammer with abby or um all the other stuff that i've been working on are we out of iron completely again you eat all that stone did you eat your stone? Yeah, you ate your stone. All right. Like my refineries or some kind of children. Did you eat your vegetables? <sighs> yeah, we gotta go get some iron. Uh, I need the mining ship, which is still in the in the pit. Oh, good. Gives me an excuse to find out the pit some more. Fill the rib cage with windows. We do have a ton of silicon, Ogre. That's not a bad idea. I really enjoyed the uh, the Warhammer video, Shack. Oh, I appreciate that. I really enjoyed that campaign. But that's another one of those things where it's like I put that pilot out. First episode of most Let's Plays do pretty well, and then you kind of get an idea of how interested people are for the long term with how well the second episode does. And that second episode did not do well. Mostly because, one, the game is ancient, I think. Um, it's old. There's a new one, like, literally right around the corner. So, I don't think we're going to be having any more of those. And those Warhammer episodes took uh, nine hours to edit a piece. Yeah. So, 
it's kind of the brutal business side of things and just the being realistic with what you can accomplish in a week. I've been trying to find uranium. Uh, good luck, old wolf. The uranium was super easy for me. I started next to it. It was, it was uh, oddly enough, magnesium. That's what spurred the weapons mine. I could not for the life of me find it. Ever played Shadowrun? The PC CRPGs I have. I've never played... I've never played the tabletop. I wouldn't be against playing, though. I think that'd be pretty cool. Old with replacements there, Andrew. You're wrong. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I don't, I don't, um shy away from playing old games if I'm really enjoying them. And that's why I'm still streaming it, but I'm not going to edit nine hours uh, on a video. Unless I'm really enjoying the editing process for it. And editing old long streams is such a painful experience. Because Premiere does not enjoy... It doesn't play well with big files. And those are five hours a piece, you know? So you just like, you, you move the bar and you wait, and you move the bar and you wait, and it's laggy and crappy and terrible. What's the most frustrating thing with the Star Wars tabletop is how close they came to having a really amazing system. I mean, they even had part of their company making miniatures and models and starships and it's like you know what we're gonna do a completely narrative system and not use any of this stuff like what except for you it's not really completely narrative because the second you have a relatively complex combat engagement you're gonna have to have something to represent these characters so the players know what they going on <laughs> it's a narrative system but here's all these super detailed ship and vehicle and weapon stats <sighs> oh man i'm not bitter i'm a little bitter all right let's start drilling into the mountainside here into the into the asteroid on topic of old games, have you played KOTOR 1, but not 2nd? I can't seem to find KOTOR 2 in your channel. I've never finished KOTOR 2. KOTOR 1 is one of my favorite games of all time. And yes, we have played it on the channel. But I've never beaten KOTOR 2. Um, when did KOTOR 2 come out? What year was it? It was like 06, 07, right? What's the name of the mod that makes your items have unique texture and color? That should be in the mod list. It's like something something coloration. I said I wasn't very descriptive. The ending of Kotor 2 isn't great. Yeah. 2004. Oh, okay. I know why I never played it. Because I had zero free time. 2004 was a very bad year for me. 2004 was just before I joined the military. Um, I had dropped out of high school. My mother was diagnosed with uh, cancer, a very aggressive kind. Uh, dropped out of high school, took on a full-time job so I could pay the bills for us. Moved across the country to Arizona to be closer to family. And that was a mistake. Arizona was nice, though. It all worked out. It all worked out. She actually went through the whole chemo process over the next year and a half, uh, two years, and ended up, she's still alive, she's still kicking, all is well, went through the operations. But uh, that was uh, working in warehouses, 12 hour days. I have the utmost respect for people who work in the warehouse industry, especially in industrial warehouses, it sucks. I went back, Skull. I, I went back. Uh, I actually 
in 2000 and like late 2005 after we had you know gotten through all that medical stuff i um uh, i said i went to my I had a little family meeting and i was like listen you know mom's going back to work because uh, we couldn't afford not to have somebody working um i have to go back to school i've got things i want to do with my life and this is a this is a one-way ticket to nowhere this isn't a career this isn't the future that i want to have and uh, I told him I was going. I made arrangements with a buddy of mine, his dad, to rent a rent a uh, room out of their place back in Florida. And I moved back to Florida, and I went back to an adult high school because I had to just get away, get away from the family, get away from everyone, and I'd do my own thing. I uh, got a job full time, went to school full time, made it happen, got my diploma, joined the Air Force in 06. Okay. I think we're good. 160,000 stone. That should keep us going for production. Uh, and we got the bulletproof glass. How much you want to bet? We could, we could totally box this up in glass. I just don't know if it's worth it. We still have to use the iron for the, for the, the gimbals, not the gimbals, the, 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 the garters. So. If we're going through a rough time like that, don't worry, it gets better. Just keep at it. IK, thank you for the 90. Wow. Hey, Captain. Absolutely love your amazing content so much. You inspire me to buy the OG Star Wars Age of Rebellion board game and get into RPGs and becoming a GM. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. I'm so happy you're GMing. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it. I think everybody should GM at least once if they enjoy playing. I love it when I hear about people jumping into, into tabletop because they saw something or... Yeah, man. That's cool. That's really cool. Thank you for the incredibly generous donation, by the way. Appreciate that. Somehow this turned into story time with Captain Shack. I don't I don't know what happened. You came here for just some space engineers. Uh yeah. <laughs> this is a thing. I knew it, Shaq is Florida man. This explains so much. Ah, how dare you? How dare you? Don't make me get my jean jacket and pet alligator out. Okay. I tell you what. Hey, some great people came from Florida. Uh, I can't think of any of them right now, but it happened. Uh, Tom Petty. He's from Florida. That's all I got. I don't. I don't know who else came from Florida. <laughs> not a great. Not great for my case. <laughs> oh, man. Have any odd or funny stories about boot camp? Um, yes. I'm not sure how many of them I can tell. Hmm. <gasps> no, like all of them are really inappropriate. Um, we're super funny but embarrassing. I'm not telling those. I got a couple about Vailfort, but I'm not gonna tell that. That's where I met Vailfort. Um. Basic training. It's bothering me that that was just sticking out. Okay, we were gonna make turrets. We were gonna test turrets. <sighs> vanilla, vanilla missiles. Hmm. These are called rockets. I imagine the rocket launcher. If you go back. Yeah, it shows the rockets firing and tracking. So they mean, they mean like all of the missiles. We got the normal missile turret. Then we got the rocket pods. And the reloadable rockets. Hmm. Go through all the weapon systems. Oh yeah, this is the new skin for the rocket pod, by the way. We'd have to manually load this. These we wouldn't. So. No, I want the. Oh, come on, I want the large grid. Missile launcher. Are you not. There it is. Oh, that's the railgun. Rocket launcher. Okay. 
So I'm thinking we turn this into a SAM site. And we have like four of them. I think we're going to put it here. Because I should be able to pipe that pretty easily. Just go right down the middle. It's behind this. Weaponize the base. Where are all my connectors? No, conveyor. Mm. No, we're not going to put this here. Change my mind. You're going to build a platform for it. I think we'll build out to here. That's a lot of conveyors, though. I don't want to use up all those motors. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go to here. That's easy enough. Because there's already a connection point, like right here. Bring on the pipes. Did I give her the pipes? I did. Hey, Dragon Lord. Thanks for the five. I saw a ghost in a bathroom while doing Firewatch and boot camp. He was wearing an old chip camo and vanished after I told him to go back to bed. <laughs> oh, man. That's super creepy. That is super creepy. Sure it wasn't TI's messing with you. Not, I'm not doubting you. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you saw something. Flanged pipe. Normal pipe. Badly. What? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It might end badly. You're not wrong. Oops. Make sure that you're attached to the voxels so that in case they gets cut off, you're not gonna go floating away. Not that that would be the first time. Oh, we can also use this to run it this way so we can have double double hookups. Nice. Rick. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Appreciate it. So, what do we need? It needs to be on a piston. That's step one. When in doubt, put it on a piston. Pistone. Sweet. Why does it need to be on a piston? Well, how else are we gonna... have it, like, come out of the ground. That's happening. I wasn't joking. This is happening. I need more Vespian gas. No, I refuse. We are not out of stone. No. Shit, out of stone. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's get... I can draw this out some more, and then we'll go get more stuff. I think we need to go over one more. Three, three. Yeah, three, three, and three. There we go. This is going to come up with a turret on it. Doors are going to open. Turret's going to pop out and be like, Surprise, mother...
And that's how it's going to work, without any issues. Obviously. Wow, because of the necessity of how high it's going to have to be. It's going to end up being taller than the, um... Than the turret over there. Yeah, that's fine. It means this is going to be like a big box that sticks up. Missile tower. I could have buried it, but we're not that deep underground yet. What's your opinion on new army? I don't know what that is. Did I not use an advanced rotor? What did I use? Oh, shit. I did it wrong! Hang on! I grabbed the wrong rotor! It's so funny that we have the advanced rotor and the normal one. Like, what's the point of the normal one when they get out of the advanced rotor so we could use the conveyor system? What does it do? Oh, I need to order motors. Let's get some motors on the chopping block. Ba, 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 ba. That's a lot of motors. All right. To the mines! The mines! I'm gonna go poke it with a stick. Hey, Dragon Lord. Yeah, YouTube's a little bit behind. I already got it taken care of, but thank you for the intel. Appreciate you. Yeah, it was last week I was moss training, so maybe. Oh man, people seen some weird stuff. Is the regular rotor smaller? I don't think I've ever tested. Cost less. There is a difference. Hmm. You don't need connected. Well, you don't need a normal rotor. Like, if you're just using it as a rotor and you're not going to pipe supplies through it, you don't need to use the connected point. Yeah, that's that's just a bonus feature. Mmm, coffee. We have, and I have no idea what that is. That's not even a, like, that's lax for even Air Force standards. I don't know what's going on there. Every unit's different. I wouldn't call that the new army. That sounds far more local. It's really your leadership. Leadership sets tone really hard at whatever base you're at, I've found. The local style. The small grid advanced rotors are 3x3, three three. normal ones are 1x1. One one. Normal large grids are 1x1? One Get what you're saying, Revan. Let me make it so people can see that, because I don't know why YouTube's like, Dad, you can't say those words. He said the word dumb. Oh, holy crap. Oh, no, it was probably the shit. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes more sense. Um, I also remember one of the issues that I ran into in the Air Force a lot was you, hey, it works both ways. You can have somebody dumb, uh, like, under your command, and you're calling them out on doing something stupid. Or just, not that they are dumb, but that they're doing something dumb and you want to call them out on it and make sure they don't do it again. And then there's the opposite of that, where somebody above you is an idiot 
and is doing something stupid or is coming at you and acting like an ass when they don't know what they're talking about or they're doing something stupid. Got a lot of that. Got a lot of that not being treated as a professional simply because other people have made mistakes around me. And that got old really fast. Communal, uh, communal discipline is one of the worst ways in the military to deal with problems. Basically, one person makes a mistake and you all get shit on for it, get punished for it. How many times I was in my dress blues because some idiot went off base and got drunk and drove into a chicken coop? That actually happened more than once. Which was insane to me because of the zero tolerance policy. What are you doing? Like that's that is literally the one of the worst things you can do. You're just instant out. The base commander doesn't even have an option. He has to kick you out. You might as well pack your bags. And poor chickens, yeah, right? It's like, I wasn't even there. I was sleeping at the time. He's not even in my unit. What the hell? I hope it wasn't the same chicken coop. I came in once. I came into work once. And my boss and my prior boss, my crew chief, and my crew chief, who was the crew chief for my last crew, uh, I was assistant crew chief at the time. I come in, and it is... It is like a grave. It is silent in the shop. Like something's gone wrong. What's, I hope nobody's gotten hurt. What's going on here? Why is it so quiet? It's never this quiet. Normally we got music going, you know, people are chatting, whatever. It is like a library in here. Something's wrong. Turns out, as I run in and I find my old crew chief, my new crew chief, in their dress blues. Okay, what did you do is the first thing I ask. He's like, I don't want to talk about it. But you're going to find out anyways. So he eventually tells me. Him and his buddy, my former boss, decided that they didn't want to pay for their taxi. So these jackasses get about a couple of blocks away from their house, from one of their houses, and dive out of their ride, out of the taxi, the base taxi, mind you, and run home in the snow. Let's do this. Let's, let's say this again. In the snow. Anybody guess what happened? This is my boss. It's real easy to follow somebody at two in the morning in the snow. You just follow their footprints. Taxi driver followed it all the way to his front door knocked on the door and said, you'll have a call from your base commander tomorrow. And left. Oh, the footprints. Yep, Brandon got it. Yep. Footprints, the Helio says. Geniuses. Geniuses. Their heist was flawless. <laughs> Idiots. Which I'm pretty sure is what I told him. Like the words out of my mouth just only that you would do this, but that you would get so easily caught. For what? He, I think he saved himself 25 bucks. On base, too? Like, like, even if it had gone off flawlessly, the bases aren't that big. You are going to run into that driver eventually. <laughs> uh, I don't understand people. Here's some coffee money shack and boy you got crazy stories. I just Let's see. I got called in. I was in my dress blues. I got called in. I'm in trouble. I know I'm in trouble, but I don't know for what. What did I do? I did something, obviously. I'm going to see the shirt. The first shirt. He's gonna tear me a new one. Because that's the only reason you ever go see the first shirt. Me, two other guys. I was an airman, uh, first class at the time. And they're like, and I, and I hear, get in here! 
and the three of us there's three of us and the other two i don't hang out with i don't know these guys like i know their names and i i've had them like temporarily in this part of my crew before but i don't i don't know uh what's going on like i don't i didn't hang out with you guys so i couldn't have done something he starts tearing into us about responsibility about keeping promises about finances eventually we get to the point where it's like okay what's going on i'm so confused he's yelling screaming he doing what a first shirt does turns out a series of phone calls came in about a credit card there's a, something called the star card i don't know if they still have it but it was basically we all got talked into getting credit cards when we first got into the military they, they brought us into a big auditorium. They're like, you know, for emergencies, you should have this. You don't have to do it. It's not an order. It's highly encouraged. It's a low interest rate credit card. I must have signed up for it. Forgot about it. Um, I don't. I used it to buy a laptop because I needed it for work. And I paid it off immediately. First paycheck. You know, first paycheck. It wasn't that expensive. Paid it off. What I didn't realize was the two guys next to me had like $9,000 of debt that they were trying to collect on. And those guys just, they're kids. They got a credit card. They don't know what they're doing. They're irresponsible. He starts to look at the paperwork, finally. He just looked at the names. And he goes, so and so, Airman, you owe nine grand. So it's, you owe $7,000. I'm getting calls. The base commander's getting phone calls. What the hell's wrong with you? Shaq, you owe 37 cents. Shaq, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it was like an hour of being screamed at for 37 cents. What happened was the interest rate hit. Somehow, some math after I had paid it off. Oh, man. It was like two years later, so I didn't know. And I changed faces multiple times. Uh, yeah, the mine's getting good, looking good. And we can just drill right through here and be right underneath everything, including the bob. <laughs> about an hour later, I hear him scream out the door. And pay the, pay your damn quarter and a half. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm on it, sir. Well, we don't have any motors. Can't keep motors to save my life. Oh, it's because we never made them. Because we went straight to the steel plates. I never had a chance to say anything. I didn't know, like, how much I owed. I was so lost. Like, how much do I owe? What did I do? Did I go on a bender and buy a bunch of stuff on a credit card? I don't have anything. Like, there's nothing in my dorm that is worth the amount of money these guys have spent. Oh. I was in Japan and my buddies uh, bought a... We didn't get paid much. You know, an airman does not make much in the Air Force. Uh, like, take-home pay is probably... I think it was like 14000 15000 a year after, you know, you pay all your other shit. So we're probably probably 24, 25,000 back then, maybe a year. And, and my buddy next door, he saved up. He saved up for half a year and he bought himself this beautiful flat screen TV. And they were really expensive back then, right? And we had an earthquake the next day and that sucker shimmied its way off of his counter, fell over and broke into a thousand pieces. I felt so bad. Uh, we're probably not refining stone. We are refining stone. Almost all of it, actually. We've almost gone through all that stone again. The storm that is approaching. Thank you for the $20 donation. Love the name. Uh, Tinker Air Force Base, Oklahoma City. My brother-in-law's crew chief organized an after-party get-together in the Hercules display model. Huh? At like 0 100 hours. We've gotten away with it if it weren't for the flashing lights out of the cockpit. Oh, in the Hercules. Okay, I got you. So in the back of an aircraft. Yeah. 
display model? What's a display model? Would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for the flashing lights out of the cockpit. Interesting. I got to do a tour of the um of the the modified Hurricane Hunters craft in um, Mississippi, in Biloxi. That was cool. Chat with all of them. I guess we're going back to the mines. We need we need iron, and I still need to dig this out. So let's go back to the mine. I could go get like dense dense iron and nickel, but uh, I really want to dig this out some more. I like the idea that the mine is actually a mine now, and it's getting bigger and bigger. Ah, shit! Back to digging. The deployment last year to the Ukraine. Oh, cool. What was his reaction? Oh, I heard it well before I saw it. I heard the rage-filled tears of a grown man who wanted to play his Xbox. I think at that time it was the 360. Felt so bad for him. So mad. That's, I kind of feel bad for him. This was also the guy who sold me a red-lighted Xbox 360. He was like, I'm getting a PlayStation. I'm not going to use it anymore. What really had happened was it was starting to red bring a death. And he tried to sell it to me. And I just came back to his door with it as soon as the first time it happened, which was the day I bought it. I was like, no. Nah, give me my money back. He's like, why? And I was like, don't you fuck with me. You know why. Give me my money back. We share a wall. You want to keep me happy? Give me my money back. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, all right, all right. That's what I thought. Ass hat. <laughs> oh, man. I don't have any good basic ones. Not not ones that are clean and I can say on chat. I, there was the guy who got tackled. That was fun. We were at the rifle range and uh, you can guess what he did and how quickly he got. It was more of like a punch. It was like an elbow to the face and the, the rifle ripped from him and it kind of tossed him. Yeah, range master was not having that shit. He turned any he, he, no barrel control. Before I could get my full expletive out of my mouth as I watched the barrel pass almost over me, um, he was like bruised and on the ground. That was comical. Even shit for it, but. Young kids, young kids in basic. Keeping the barrel not pointing at somebody else, keeping the barrel downrange and not sweeping it past people. You ever watch in like action movies how they're always like talking with their weapons and their and the and the gun's barrel is basically pointing every which way? Yeah, that's not something you should be doing. <laughs> and it makes people cringe when they see it. Very serious about that kind of thing. And he got floored. It was instant. I'd heard the stories. I knew going in, like, I, I heard the stories my grandfather told me about the rifle range. It's like one of the things you don't do. So I kind of was aware that the guy behind us, he's not there to teach us how to shoot. He's there to make sure we're not doing anything stupid. It was only a matter of time. Let's get a little bit more ore. I want to make sure we got a nice stack. Okay, I do have one other basic story. So there's something called Warrior Week. I don't know if they still do it, um, but it's it's field training, right? And they they basically stick you out in this simulated war zone area and teach you how to, you know, if you're standing guard outside of a post, how to yell at people. How would they call it? It's been years. Somebody that's in now can remind me. What's it? Um, challenging. How to challenge someone. And it's nighttime. We're day three or four. And we're in this foxhole. And we're... Um, there's another word. They don't call them foxholes. They call it, like, fighting position or something. The DFP defensive fighting... Yeah, defensive fighting position. So we're in this foxhole. 
with a fancy name. And I'm supposed to stop people who are trying to get past our perimeter. And I get the silhouette of somebody in the distance. It's super dark. And I start, you know, I start yelling at them as aggressively as I can. And I'm not getting a response. And they're kind of creeping around out there. And so I just went off. I, you know, you approach, I will crack you with a head. Listen up, toll. Identify yourself or whatever. I forgot what you're supposed to say. It's like identify yourself something, something, something. And it ended up being my TI, which is your drill instructor in the Air Force. The guy who's, you know, I always see the movies screaming and yelling at each other. And I've just called him all kinds of names trying to get his goddamn attention. Because I thought it was one of our, I thought it was one of our guys. One of our, one of the other trainees. I really did. I, I was, the silhouette, I was like, I even thought I knew who it was. And that was great, because it's like, oh god, here it comes. Here it comes. He's got the hat on and everything. Now I realize who it is, because he had he took his hat off just so he wouldn't be recognized. They have a very particular hat. Wide rimmed hat that they use to beat you in the forehead when they're screaming in your face. I swear Veilfor had a permanent mark on every time he yelled at. <sighs> PSA, do not, under any circumstance, attend the Alec Baldwin School of Gun Safety. Ah, oh, ah, oh, your bad taste. Bad taste. <laughs> Super bad taste. Jesus, dude. I actually don't know what happened with that. Not that I want to get into it. I know there was a live round in... And there shouldn't have been. It should have been all blanks. Which... I imagine wouldn't be on the actor. So how is the actor going to know? And it was during the shoot, I thought. Ugh. Could you imagine being that guy? You're just an, you're some actor, you're just playing a role, and that happens on set? Ugh. That's horrifying. Cargo! Uh, actually, let's do cargo here. Let's do it. It's not cargo. It's industrial shooter. I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna rename it so I stop. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're not actually refining any of this. There we go. And iron? Iron. No, available. Zero iron. Is it filled up? It shouldn't be. I have cargo. Container that they can push to. Get all that uranium. Oh, speaking of uranium, we have it now. For all the artillery shells. Give me like 20 artillery shells. Let's work on that for a while. Into the gravel. Yeah, you're right. It was gummed up. You're right. You're right. Hi. I like the new weapons of vanilla, but are they worth it? Are they worth it not to play with weapon core and all these possible weapons? Uh, I mean, it depends what you want. If you want to play around with the new weapons, go for it. I was having a legit bug with Weapon Core where I couldn't fire my guns with left leg. So that was my I'll figure it out later solution, get rid of Weapon Core. I'm only using one. I was only using one weapon, which was back here. What the hell did I do here? I, I screwed something up. Heavy armor. Oh... Uh. Sure, why not? All right, what was I doing? Can you finish your story? I don't remember what my story was. <laughs> We're talking about <laughs> which one? <sighs> oh, that was it. He. Oh, so yeah, he just walked up to me and um, Ti after I yelled at him, called him all these names, and he was got right up in my face, and I'm like, okay, here it comes. I'm dead. I'm a dead man. This is it. This is how my story ends. I'm just gonna, they're just gonna bury me in one of these sandbags. Uh, and what actually happened was he was like, good job, Shaq. Carry on. <laughs> so that was it. <sighs> I feel like we may have had it extra bad at our uh, at basic because we found out about three weeks into basic, our TI 
just started going through his surprise divorce. He started sleeping at the barracks. Yeah. So you think about a TI. Already, you know, these people are here to just... To break you. And now you give somebody who's just doesn't give a shit. That is in a terrible mood to begin with. He's also a former security forces truck driver who lost a couple of toes in Iraq to an IED. And he weighs like 300 pounds of muscle. It's six foot something. And he wasn't nearly as scary as our sister flight's TI. She was horrifying. She had some weird way of just figuring out what your tick was and just going for it. give you that whole, oh, they don't touch it in, in basic. Psh. My TI kicked a bed with somebody in it so hard, the bed and the dude went flying. Because he was still sleeping when he came in. We should get stacked. Up, 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 up. Morning. I love that you say that, Ricky. It wasn't like this was 20, 30 years ago. <laughs> it was a while ago. 40 years ago? Fine. Honestly, it... Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with them not being able, not being allowed to... arm the, the people who are there. Like, that's a good idea, because... Certain personality type that uh, volunteers for TI duty, and sometimes it's very positive, and it's it's there for a good reason. And other times, yeah. Now, I'm not saying I had one way or the other, but some changes are good changes. I'm gonna wall this off. I value my time, basic. I say that. This goes to nothing. This is literally a window to nothing. All right, let's get rid of that. And that. Okay. Okay. Hey, German. Thank you for the five dollars. As of 2013, Air Force Basic is easy. I was bored, and the only real challenge were PT and staying awake. Can't even cuss trainees. <laughs> yeah. So the whole staying awake thing, uh, they're continuing with the, um, with the, how do you put it? Training through sleep deprivation is the main training method of the Air Force. Because everything becomes muscle memory. Well, it wasn't there to entertain you. <laughs> oh, man. That's kind of funny to me, though. I was bored. Good! Why have we not finished these guys? Oh, interior plates. And large steel tubes. We actually use all the large steel tubes. Production. 
Uh, uh, like 50. And let's get a couple hundred of these. It wasn't actually motors, it was... Shit. Far more of these. Just gonna eat the rest of our iron! Refinery, cargo. Oh, that hasn't been a thing for ages, Jormigan. Um, having to field strip your rifle. You joined in the Air Force, man. You wanted that. You should have joined the Army. Then you could sit in a ditch playing with your rifle. That is such a waste of time for basic training at, uh, in the Air Force. Totally, it used that stone that fast. Crap baskets, man. Holy crap baskets. We are about to finish that, though. Missile's gonna be a thing soon. Wahahaha. So he joined security forces. More pararescue. And spend the next, like, year and a half doing nothing but that kind of stuff. The job that I wanted so badly when I signed up was flight engineer or loadmaster. Loadmaster specifically, because I wanted flight crew. I really wanted flight crew. Hard opening's fine, though. Because you're not the only person who wants flight crew. What was your time to fill strip your chair? I could do it in 30 seconds! Air Force, we've got people for that. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! Damn it. I didn't hit it that hard. What did I hit? Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. No! Oh, cruel mistress of fate. Why have you cursed me? I actually have to make thruster components because we lost our... Ow! We lost the bits. The Air Force didn't screw me over. I'd be working on F 35s now. Really? <laughs> well, you don't say. It sounds like somebody may have actually listened to the words their recruiter said and, you know, believed them. Don't do that. Don't believe the recruiters. They are paid to lie to you. They have one job, and it is not to get you your job. Their job is to get you to sign the paperwork. Captain James, thanks for becoming a new member. That's not a joke. I'm not bitter or anything. I, I actually knew exactly what I was doing when I signed up. I knew what was on my contract. I knew, um, I knew what I was getting into. I, I signed up Open General knowing it was Open General, unlike a lot of people. A lot of people that I was in basic with. Oof. Hey, Arctic, thanks for the 10. Night Owl Decorations mod. Use the inertial dampener. Should stop the drifting. Doesn't need weapon score. Night Owl Decorations mod. Okay, I, I'm not sure if this is multiple things that you're telling me. Night Owl's Decoration mod is what you're recommending. And then use inertial dampeners. Inertial dampeners are on already. Doesn't need weapon core. I'm so confused. Is that an, a block and not just the normal inertial dampeners? Really? 
read your contract. If you want a particular job, get the list. Get it in your contract. That's the only way you're going to know what job you're going to be doing when you're in the Air Force. There is a list of jobs that they need that are openings that they have right now. You can get it. Tell them you're not going to sign up unless you've got a list and you, you know what you're getting into. Now, they may just offer it right away, or they might try to talk you into just signing up and never mention what job. They'll talk about what you could end up doing. They'll say, you could be this. You could be that. But they won't say you will be, or it won't be on your contract. That means that's bullshit. You're probably going to end up as... You're going to end up in one of the red line jobs, one of the jobs that they just need people bodies in. Uh, if you don't. You don't have it in your contract. That's what I suggest. Recruiter does not have your best interest at heart. It's not their job. Their job is to hit a quota. And whereas, like, the police thing is mostly bullshit when they talk about quotas, depending on where you live, uh, that is not true for the, for the, um, recruiters. They do have a quota. It's quite literally the only, the job. Recruiter story. I was signing back up. This was with the, this was an Air National Guard recruiter. I was out of the Air Force. I'd already done a, a little bit of time in the Air National Guard. And... Myself and five other people were in to sign our contracts. I was signing up for four years. It was absolutely clear. Four years. That was it. Not doing six. No contracts for four to six years. This isn't happening. We're all sitting around the table, joking around, chatting, you know, talking about our various jobs, saying, you know, what, what, how long you been in? Oh, you're doing another six. Oh, hey, this one guy's getting a sign-on bonus. That's cool. The paperwork gets in front of us. Everybody grabs a pin. I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Recruiter behind me makes a grumbly noise. Go, what are you guys doing? Read your contract. Look at it. Check the dates. Guess what? Every single one of those contracts had six years on it. Even though we all talked to the recruiter individually, we all had four or six. Every one of those contracts had six years written on it. Six years of your life. They were two seconds away from signing away two extra years of their life. Now they probably, a lot of those guys wanted to stay in for career. But here's the thing, you sign up for four, it opens up to the possibility at four that you might get a sign-on bonus. If they need people in that position and you're ready to re-sign up, well, if they're offering bonuses and your contract is up, then you have the opportunity to get a bonus. Why would you why would you ever sign up for six years what the hell is the point of that there's no point in signing up for six years i don't get it i just don't get it unless you're trying to make it that perfect 20. so yeah yeah he did that's one thing i did learn <laughs> damn contract <sighs> Yes, it's a mod that has better inertial dampener block. It's actually called Night Owl Naval Theme Prop Block. I don't know if I would want better inertial dampeners because they're already really, really strong. They actually put out more force than your thrusters are capable of unless that's changed. Let's get some steel plates. All right, how are we looking? We good? Piped, or connected, or welded. During my time in the Air Force CP controller, we had a sec force individual try to sell a grenade launcher just as I was leaving for Korea. What? What? I'm assuming this was you learned it after the fact. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, no ways. Wow. Wow. Talk about stupid things to do. Hey, Gassy. Thank you so much for becoming a member and going on for 14 months. I appreciate that. Our professional FOD walkers a thing. Get a PhD in fonts. I feel like I've got enough hours. They say if you've done something for 10,000 hours, you're an expert. And I probably have 10,000 hours of FOD walks in. 
I feel like it at least. The surprising amount of my life has been on fog walks. Uh, all right, we already got everything for the turret minus the turret itself. So I think we're gonna keep this simple. We're just gonna do a um, a conveyor and then conveyor and then wall we'll rack up the missiles. Just do a junction. Junction. Oh, wait, where's the missile's hookup point? It's weird, isn't it? It's like... Oh, it's on the sides. Yeah, we're good. It's on the sides. Oh, but it's only one? That's fine. We can do it on the sides and then we can pipe it. So, missile tube. Missile tube. Nope, nope, nope. Wait, wait. Oh, okay, good. You're cold. Hey, Larson. Thanks for the 10. I think my worst experience when I was a... Uh, Lucy... KG on a carrier. A junior grade on a carrier in the Sea of Japan. It was when someone lost a pair of pliers. Long story short, two-hour fod walk in midsummer. Not a good... Yeah. Um, I got you beat. A... I don't remember the size of it, but a single socket head. A socket head in an engine bay when the air conditioning was broken in the middle of summer in Japan. At the end of the day, we were there for so long. So long. Is this dumb? Yes, but we're still doing it. This is going to be great. Oh, you know what? We can use pipes. If we use pipes, I think it'll look cooler. Because it'll have the, the pipe. Yeah. We can go... Na, 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 na. Bear Junction. I need curve pipes. Ba-da. Ba-da. I wonder if these are going to track. Oh, shit. What is that? It's a freighter. I was like, about to, we're about to find out. It's about to get real. It's like small steel tubes and construction components are going to be the problem of the day. And we are going to need some metal grids. The only reason I didn't keep me is because I lost a leg and the recruiter still showed up a week before I was discharged. Oh, to, to recruit you again? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't believe I believe it. He's lost a leg. Yeah, but I want to still see if I can recruit him. <laughs> you would, the recruiters. God damn it. <sighs> oh, man. I got lucky. I got Aerospace Propulsion Apprentice as my, as my first job. It was my only job. That was what I did. And then I, when I joined the guard, I uh, cross-trained. Uh, okay, so small steel tubes and large steel tubes and metal grids. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We're out of all the things because I keep using all the things. Yeah, I'll just do 200. No, it's fine. Uh, when we say construction components, why do I believe we're not out of construction? Ah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. All right, we're back to digging holes while we make this monstrosity, and then we have to box it in. I think we're going to need a bigger box. <laughs> and then when it deploys because of the piston, it's actually going to go above everything else. This is going to be great. Back in the hole. You know, what if I take the lights and I bring the intensity? Oh, it's already so low. That's literally as low as you can get. Okay. 
can bring the ladies radius down a little bit. A little, a little less bad. What ammo does it take? Those are the normal missiles. Those are normal missile launchers. But we've got a mod that just came out that might make them track. They haven't been tested yet. Better have a lot of missiles. We're sitting on a magnesium mine green. That's what this whole base is built on top of. And it's been, we've been doing nothing but refining magnesium and our whole point in this base is to make weapons to prep for our, our leaving and going to another star system. It's very dangerous. Am I upside down? I feel upside down. Yeah, I'm just right upside down. Good. There we go. It's uranium dependent too. Is it rocket missiles to use for uranium? No. Maybe? Maybe. We'll look. We'll look. That's all right. We can go get uranium. Do you even have cobalts? I don't know. Question. Yes, they do. Okay. Well, we've got uranium. And we know where cobalt is. I can just go get some. We're making this happen, guys. We're making this happen. That was one of the big goals today, was to make a missile. Sam sight. Shoot Reavers down with it. Too, too techno aid, eh? too much, too much sick base. Yo. Ah, uh, which mod is it that gives the extra toolbar details? Um. Mm, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I. No, wait, that's a Skyrim mod. More HUD? No. Ah, somebody will know in chat. I don't remember. It should be in the list, though. And you can also turn it off, which is nice. You can just tab or hit Alt and look at it. It's quite convenient. Build info does it. Build info does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tell what I'm mining at my maximum. Look at how big the rocks are. And when I'm just barely, like, touching it, I get the tiny little pebbles. Just trying not to get any, like, that impact damage. I'm just trying to hold back. Excited about this missile system. Just hope we can get this thing online before they come over and break my piston again. They have a sick like focus on killing my mind. Have you noticed that? Every time the Reavers come over, it's shot at my mind. My piston setup. To the point where I'm doing this now. This is not as hands off as the normal mine, but Which I think we've got enough room in here. We could set up a normal mine now. Like a a, a static mine, I mean. Or a turreted mine. Or we could make a bigger version of what we're doing here with a large grid, like, mobile, mobile mine, mining thing. Not really a ship so much as, like, an arm. I don't know. It's a little cheesy with the, with the Bob. Bob is really helping us out. Couldn't do this without it. Unless we did something weird with collectors and 
uh, gravity. Gra mm. Would gravity affect the block? No, it wouldn't. I've got a mod, I don't think. What do we need? Ah, metal grids, which we wouldn't do any cobalt for that crap. No way. Ah. Is the mod list below your full mod list? No, it changes. We make changes every time we play. Can I make this? Well, one thing, we're out of... We're not, we're not, 300,000, yeah. Get to it. There we go. We have a little bit of cobalt. We're gonna need a lot more. That's the nearest cobalt mine. 18 kilometers away? really far. It's really far. Oh. Ah. Well, let's go look what the ammo takes to make. Production, ammunition, missiles. Wow, that's a lot. Platinum ingots too. Wow. Why is this so expensive? They're not even tracking in vanilla. <sighs> so I guess the shopping list at this point is platinum and cobalt for the metal grids, which we seem to be chewing right through. So we might actually not need those. How far is the platinum at? No, okay, we do. We did. We did mark it. I was like, we did mark it. Go get some platinum. Oh, I didn't park in here. I've got enough air. Ah, we'll take the we'll take the shuttle. We'll go for a full full load. There was another location, was there? Seven point. That's the closest. That's not that far. Seven point nine is not that far. If I can do this without looking. Oh, the angle is way off. I wasn't even near it. Button it up. Our destination is seven that way. Imagine it's also build info that's getting the capacity, unless that was an added thing in a, a patch at some point. I will say, all that searching for magnesium made life really easy for us. Because I have all those locations with all the ore we need. I can just go over to it now. It's called Reavers Terror something. Look up Reavers. I'm uh, to let, let me know if that's not Archangel in the description. It should be. You like the assault turrets? The cheaper? Yeah. Yeah, I'm noticing what it costs to make some of these weapons. Terror of the Verse. That's the one.
professionalism. That's what we're here for. Engineering professional. to set this up. <laughs> Disco lights. Oh, man. I caught a little bit of the critical role. They were doing a, um, a watch party of their new series, which, by the way, highly recommend. The animated critical role series is fantastic. If you know what you're getting into, you're going to love it. If you've watched season one of the... Of, wait, yeah, Hostile? Mind transport. Anyways, out of nowhere, a disco ball comes out of the freaking roof and Sam during the watch party starts singing his I don't even know if I could say the name of his song without getting YouTube demonetized but yes it's a thing yeah. so great the turrets I think I'm just gonna lock those turrets forward facing Having them just randomly search for targets is, uh, is awkward. All right, Platinum. Where are you? Totally agree with Fox Machina being a must-watch. Yes, it's okay. I've been catching up with their season three. God, Ford's character is my absolute favorite. It's so, f oh, there we go. We're picking it up. Platinum's actually down there. So funny. Just, hmm. I've been wanting to do a character like that too. And it's so funny to see him actually just running with it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's right. It's completely exposed platinum mine. Nice. Um, all right. We're just going to do the mining like we were doing in the in the, the rock. Let's make sure our, our pooper is off. It is. Okay. And I left the door open. It's even the door on the wrong side. Oh, damn it. And because of the reavers, I'm scared to use radios, so I have to manually do everything. Uh, bobs aren't on. There they are. Intergalactic dip slot engaged. Whoa, what are we welding? Here we go. Make sure Bob's on it. Oh no! Oh no! Mistakes! Mistakes! Gravity! Gravity does affect those. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, we made a mistake. I forgot to turn the gravity off. Yep. <laughs> this plan doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're fine. So what was happening was the gravity was pulling down the rocks. The rocks were stuck in the connector, and I started to, like, my back end started to dive. Tightening your gravity field saves power. I said it's turning off. It's an easier way. Makes me want to make a scooper and I can just scoop stuff. This mine, it's so much platinum. It goes down eight meters. Yes. Super easy to mine, super open. Super flashy. Keep up, Bob. Feel like you're not keeping up. Let me give let me give you a second. You struggling. All this for missiles. Why not make an old school ore vacuum? I'd have to make a funnel. 
And where am I going to put a funnel at? So that when it falls, it falls, you know, into the thing I'm... The ship's not big enough for that. Where is it? What? Where is it? It's not here. I'm blind. I can't. Where's the ejector? Oh, it uses the connector. Ah, ah, good grief. Had one job. Yeah. <laughs> It's looking for the ejector. It's on the shuttle grab. Not on this. That's cool. That's a cool shot. Thank you, quiet tools. out of the platinum. Yeah, we, we left the mine. Let's give um, Bob a chance to pick those up. This is called... Uh, what is this sound called? It's me. Okay, so the person who made it is called Oi, and the song is called Teenage Lullaby. Uh, it's an epidemic track. That's a, no, that's a band name. Oi. O-O-Y-Y. -Y. Uh, are your little worker drones on the workshop? Nope. None of this stuff's on the workshop. I haven't, um, I haven't uploaded any of this stuff. You guys like to see the map put up? I can upload the map. Else that is the space. Uh, uh. Ah. All right, is it still picking stuff up, or am I just making a mess? I am making a mess. Shit. <laughs> I was in here jamming out. Uh, kind of made a mess. Well, they actually stop. Isn't that interesting? They don't keep their momentum from being ejected. They just stop. Inventory full. Huh. Yep. Stop that. Shit. Inventory <gasps> I just full. put you in there. <sighs> uh, let's pick up some of this. Inventory full. Shuttle's full. To turn you rocks into glorious, glorious missiles. Inventory full. Inventory full. Indeed, Abby. That's exactly what it's doing. That's how I've been mining. Pooping rocks. Now we're heading back to base to drop this stuff off so we can refine it and turn it into missiles. Get some revenge on the next Reaver who shows up. And it 
Lock up. There we go. Shutting down the top thrusters. I have been surprisingly good about remembering that this time. I have not burned the entire bottom half of the ship. I'm impressed with myself. Okay, heading home. We got the platinum. Where's home? Swat cat base. Oh yeah, we're really heavy. That is full burn straight up. Come on. <sighs> Let's turn those builds off because I can hear them clicking back there. Offline. Why am I not surprised to see critters in Shaq's chat? They're everywhere. Bum, bum, bum. It's great. do we need for the missiles so this is going to be enough to build the plates oh there was something else that we needed hey Shaq any excitement for KSP2 I never played the first one so probably not as much as others I'll check it out but KSP never grabbed me either I, I think I, I enjoy, there's something chill, very satisfying about walking around in first person and building something, you know? Space Engineers, Minecraft, that, you know, getting a tool out in game and, and welding stuff up, and placing blocks. I like that. Um, Kerbal Space Program is what that is. What are you talking about, Abby? And I know, like looking at, KSP, I always saw it from like a menu. You're designing craft always in a menu. Um, it's the same reason I don't think I ever got into. What are we locking? What the hell is that? I've locked something. Because the locking system works now. Because <laughs> we don't have weapon core on. There's something there. Is that part of my drill? <laughs> I don't have any way of collecting that right now. Come back for it, but that's funny. Locking target. It's. A, I think it's the same reason that I never got into a Vorian. It has the same, you hit a button, you go into a menu, a construction like menu, and then you start building stuff that way. And as much as I thought Avorian would be my shtick, because it's basically X3 and Space Engineers kind of mixed together in a way, it never, it never grabbed me. And the only thing I can think of is I really enjoy that first person element. I think it allows me to, to dig into like, like, notice how I always build my ships. I always enjoy building an interior. I like it making areas feel like a livable space where you can walk into it and open doors. You know, you don't need to do that in Space Engineers. You don't have to have an interior. And you don't really get that with some of those other games, and KSP is one of those. KSP is currently your chill game. Yeah, Wasted's got me into that, too. I haven't played it since he introduced me to it, but um, I definitely get it. I get it now. Let's um set the ejector up. I think we'll just eject. And let the bobs, look at the bobs. They're blue shenanigans. Empty. Oh yeah, you don't work without having a thing. Go ahead and stockpile. 
Will that fix this problem? Ejector. Hmm? Or are you going to make me? There you go. There you go. You can empty all the other crap that's in there. I don't care. No, you're still throwing out nothing. I wonder what it's trying to throw out. It would throw my ammo out too. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll make a I'll make a dock port. And last time it wasn't even that much stuff in there. Let me take a look. What do you got? I don't know why this is there. Metal holder components? Where's the ammo? But you're so convenient. It's hard not to take advantage of it. Take all of my platinum. Oh, that's a bullet. Why do you have... Oh, yeah, I have assault cannons on here. <laughs> Why do you have assault cannons? Maybe because you put assault cannons on the ship? Just maybe? Maybe some of this trash, too. Like gold. Random gold ingots. a bit more useful. Ba, 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 ba. And then you guys are all going to be on the mines, right? On the mining ship. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that's that. That's that. medium car containers they don't hold that much oh finally pushed me so far away anybody remember the animation mod that had like these really cool animations where you'd actually attach your console on your character's wrist uh to the blocks you were interacting with we used it in one of the group survivals for a while until they stopped working because of a you know they that's such a cool con like a cool idea a little, little immersion factor a little little like cable would come out and attach and then you every time you'd push a button in your menu your character would actually push a button on his wrist so other players could see you were interacting with something it was a very cool mod all right where are we at we've gotten two done we need large steel tubes and metal grids for the rest of these still get those ordered 200 of these like 40 start large little tubes let me guess you're not refining what i need you to refine shocking this is my shock face i feel like that's gonna take a little while here eat this and then eat this Prioritize whatever little bits of stone we have left. Oh, I don't have any. That's it. Cobalt. That's what we needed. We need cobalt. Texas says the missile mod work check. Oh, please be more specific. I hope you're saying what I think you're saying, but. What do you mean by it works? Which missile mod and in what way does it work? The missile mod that we're talking about that changes the normal missiles into actual missiles like what we're building here and they work automated style as a turret like we're building? Is that what you mean by they work? Because that's what I'm hoping you're saying. 
Let's go to the cobalt mine. I really want to get this working. Is that? No. There's 21, 18. Wow, that's really far away. Well, we got a reaver. 14 kilometers out. Shit. We could engage. We've got turrets and cannons and battleship cannons. What do you think? Do we engage? Chat. I've only got eight shots. The turrets have ammo, though. We engage. I think we, we can go for it. To war! And so war were declared. All right, Reavers. Kind of want to bait him towards the, the station first. Like, let's go ahead and start stopping. Let's get within sensor range of him. He's located us. Starting to turn around. And we can also bait him with the turret shooting at him. And then get him inside... That's not, no. Battle music. Yes. Shit. All right, turrets, get ready. Here we go. One kilometer out. I'm starting to move towards the base. We want that battleship cannon firing. Ow, my face. Back of my face. Ah, he's got missiles. Oh shit, the shields are starting to fail already. Keep getting them. Oh, he hit me hard. Side straight, side straight. Lost the target. Lost the lock. I don't need no stinking lock. Open fire. Get wrecked, fools. Reloading, reloading, reloading. Nailed him. Oh, look at how it throws him. <laughs> I love the force impacts. The new weapons are great. Okay. okay, get the nose down so the turrets can still see him. Stop shooting the base. Okay, stop shooting at me. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Getting good impacts. That's a hit. This is why I wanted under 400. This is way more exciting. Okay, shields almost failed there, but I think I put him back. Are you running? There's no running. I think the back turrets are reloading. Or we're out. That's a hit. No, you don't. You're not ramming me. I'm actually in a moving craft this time. I need to disable him. Hi. Ah, just barely. Yeah, I think the turrets are out of ammo. That's a hit. He's disabled. Uh, that's gonna be an interesting. I don't have gear. I can't slow you down. Oh well, target destroyed. Fight. Did it just turn? No, it's disabled. That's true, that's true. We could eat, we could eat him with Bob. Let's go do that. drifting pretty fast. There is a mod, the relative speed mod that I've been meaning to put in that will make it so scrap can't go max server in max speed of the map, or you'll never catch up to stuff. So we need to get closer. All right, we're accelerating towards him now. I'm going to eat you, Reaver. Oh, how the turns have tabled.
Why am I missing you? Shit. I had inertial dampeners off. Uh, this is the song that's obviously the legally distinct version of the Battlefield theme. <laughs> On Epidemic. <sighs> I love it. Okay. All right. Bob's are on. He's got to get close. I kind of think he still has a thruster because he's... Sh he should be going in a straight line, and yet I am unable to keep, like, an angle on him. Large block torpedo parts marked through the cool guy missiles. They don't work anymore, my man. The guidance block, the one that makes all that function, doesn't work anymore. Oh, Texas. I would use it in a heartbeat. It's one of my favorite mods. So much chaos. Yeah, it's turning. He is totally moving. Damn it. I'm really slow. I haven't emptied the cart. Go, go wait. I'm just really slow in general in this ship. Okay. Almost caught up. I want to pass him. I don't know what Bob's range is, and I don't have landing gear, so I can't, like, grab him. You better not explode. You bastard! He's moving! Shit. Missed. Stop it. Stop it. Stop moving. My guns are really spread out. I can't see the red dot either. Yeah, stop turning faster than me, you suck! If I can't leave you, then no one can! You're not getting away. Where's the red dot? Where's the red dot? Beep, 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 That was very RoboCop one. Hmm. Dark. Ah, I can't see where it is. Notice it's not giving me a target or anymore. Like a lead indicator. I might have gotten the engine that time. Yeah, I can't see the targeter. Take me closer. I want to hit it with my bob. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't actually mean it. <laughs> well, I guess you're going my speed now. Hey, Bob, you, um, you want to eat this guy? Hey, Storm. Thanks for the five. How do Reavers clean their spears? They wash them. You monster. Control Z is cheats. I... I don't like the dampeners on ships. I, on, um... On ship packs, it's fine because it helps with lag. But on ships, I think it takes away some of the fun of actually flying your ship. Because it just makes it so easy. I think we got out of range. Let's throw us the back the other way. You know, making slight adjustments and trying to match the velocity of another target. And then trying to do stuff. Oh, I bumped it. I bumped it with the shield. And I'm not taking the shield down. I, tr I don't trust these things at all. They've had warheads on them almost every time. could get out there and help, but warheads, hmm, maybe not. Port thruster, a little bit, start sliding towards it. Oof, every time uh, Bob accidentally, like, cuts something free, you know, we might, we might be okay. I'm gonna go over to it. Get directly in front of it. That's just asking to get shot. I don't see any warheads. I don't see anything. I think Bob already ate everything but the steel plates. I love that we're doing this at 85 meters a second. 
Who's eating who now? Nom 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 nom. I don't do I need these steel plates? Eh, not really. I mean, yeah. It's a principle of the thing. You're going into my missile system. Okay, let's go home. Seal it up. Thirty meters away. Base. Neighbors are back on the menu, boys. Something bothers me about that. That whole line. Okay, so if orcs say meat's back on the menu, boys, does that mean that there are orc restaurants? Because they know what a menu is? Or Urukai, I guess, because it's Lord of the Rings. I'm not against this idea. I actually kind of love it. It implies that there are orc varied vegetarian dishes. <laughs> In 40k, all orcs are vegetarian dishes. They're made out of spores. Orc meat is vegan. Is that true to me, though? How to get good at space engineers. Realize there's no such thing as good at space engineers, and there's just enjoying space engineers is step one. That learning the mechanics of space engineers is the joy of space engineers. And if you're curious about the really base mechanics, I would recommend Splitsy's tutorials. I have a getting started tutorial as well. Um, and there's tons and tons of videos. Space engineers, the YouTube scene over the last few years has gotten really there's like a lot of people doing content, which is great. It's good to see. So lots and lots of like how to's, how to make turrets, how to make uh, anything. Doom weapons. This game is literally everything you make it out you know, for yourself. What you want it to be. What was it? Um, I saw Splitsy doing a speed run of Space Engineers. Which confused the hell out of me until I realized what he was doing. It was like, how fast do you get to Mars on the uh, on the solar system map, I think is what he was doing. Or how to the moon, maybe? It was one of those. He set himself a goal, and then he was timing it. Over-engineering is the best part of Space Engineers. Gaudi, I'm with you. I think the best part, best part of Space Engineers for me is the chaos that can happen. The, you know... They keep attacking this mine. Why is there even a mine? Because we chose to put it there. It's like the best parts of tabletop games where you can choose the path you take. That's all Space Engineers is. And then testing out mods and seeing the cool stuff and being like, oh, this mod inspired me to make something crazy. Or this update inspired me to make a giant SAM site missile turret on a piston as raisins. I enjoy that stuff a lot. I like how the bases look at a distance right now too. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of the mines from um, Empire War. It looks so big when we're there and it's so tiny compared to the rest of the asteroid. The view, the view distance in Space Engineers is really impressive. Like, look at how far out I am and I can still say, okay. That's my reactor building. That's my cargo. That's the mine. That's the hangar storage facility. There's the refinery. It's like, I can still see it all. There's the soon-to-be missile turret. Hey, Grey Cat. I'll have the org. <laughs> with sign of int rolls. You want that with or without hobbit sauce?
and home. we doing before we were rudely interrupted by reavers i actually don't remember it was i think i emptied the cargo right all we've got in there is ice from a prior trip and random bits and pieces oh we were gonna go get uh cobalt yeah and it was really far away on the other side of the well that was a piece of scrap metal from one of the attacks <laughs> i have server cleanup off so there is just stuff everywhere Just random crap. This is why we need shields. Micro impacts. I got real nervous when we almost lost our shield to that reaver when he hit us. Between the rockets. The rockets seem to do a ton of damage. It must be because of the spread against shields. Because we are definitely in the red. Alright. Cobalt run. <laughs> Other direct side of the base. So we're not going back to base just yet. Let us go. There's an iron mine right there. Look at that. You can see it from here. Yeah, green. I'm with you. know if that's necessarily true Revan. Revan says um starting a new world in SC in space is more fun than starting new world on a planet thoughts um planets actually offer a lot as engineering because in space yeah you can make you know starships and whatnot on the ground though you get more limitations which actually makes engineering I think a little bit more fun like you can get to use wheels you get to use you get to use vehicles ground vehicles and drive them around um, you can, if you use the aviation mod, which I highly recommend, you can make aircraft. <laughs> yeah, water mod for boats. Has that gotten its update yet with the new floating mechanics? You may know. There's so many challenges you can do. Try playing with no jetpack or only breaking jetpack. That's that changes everything because now you've actually got to make the structures around your build areas so say you want to build you know up high well now you've got to make the scaffolding to get up there to place those blocks to weld those blocks if you want to make a vehicle you got to make a vehicle bay to build vehicles now you can't just fly around like a like a fly it definitely changes how you play oh, look at all the bullet holes <laughs> damn reavers <sighs> oh shit okay we're here Only hydrogen, Bart? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only hydrogen definitely mixes it up. This is a very dense little asteroid pack. 
area. I was watching someone do a run with three times gravity and no helmet. No helmet. I assume that's on, on planets then. Or weird challenges like Splitzy adding acid rain because what we needed is more weather. <laughs> I like choppers. Yeah, I wonder if that mod still works. There used to be a mod that added, and I'm surprised the plane parts mod hasn't added it. Um, helicopter. Helicopter bits. Props. You know? Uh, it basically acted like a single direction thruster, but you could make helicopters with it. They looked cool. I know the sound got a little wonky. Uh, okay, that's off. That's off. That's on. Detach from the spacecraft. Let's get some cobalt. And start pooping it out. Pooping it out. Why aren't we... Why aren't we... Oh, we did it. Turned it off. Green range? We're not in range. The range on the ship bobs are small. Oh, we are in range. Sort of. No, nah, we need to get closer. Da -da -da, ya -da -da, ya -da 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 -da. Oh, 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 too far, too far, too far, too far. I'm missing some of my thrust of the direction, so I can't break very well. There we go. Jack, are you going to play Ares at War? Is that the solar system map? Is that the one that I was talking about last week? Let's see. It was on the front page. Up, 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 up. Is it already off the front page? Oh. The front page is moving quick. There was a solar system map. Go to mods. Might not be considered a mod, it might be a map. <gasps> the video player maps out, mods out. Nice, you can actually play videos in your world. Hmm. Splits these long range searchlights. Uh, okay, maybe it's a world then. Well, yes, there is a, a certain solar system that I wanna use for my, for the next part of this survival. We're gonna, we're gonna jump to it. We still have to make a jump drive. We're gonna jump to it and bring the supplies with us and go into a challenge of like survival gameplay, survival salvage gameplay, where you can't just grind stuff down on a hostile world. All right, let's back off for a minute and let this catch up. Shut him down. Do you think you can set up a mod where I can watch the live stream while play the game in SE, like in the world? No, I don't think so, but that would be very cool. Grab all the bits. Storm, thank you so much for the $10 donation. I appreciate that. Just rewatched the group survival series. Still love how you had the best start. Morph had the murderous stalker and wasted, was stuck in the Arctic in a Russian suit. He couldn't understand. <laughs> yep. That sums up the beginning of that series. Back when it was, um, it was all the same series, but split POVs. And for like the first, I don't know, was it was eight, nine episodes. We never, we, we weren't together. And Wasted's was, he was like losing it. That's so funny. Thinking back about how that series came to be. Okay. Just collecting them into piles. There you go. 
Don't know why they just did that instead of just not sticking it in the cargo bay, but here we are. Uh, let me get a full cargo container. Let's fill this thing up. Airy system. Yeah, I think it's the airy system. That's the one I'm thinking about using. It's got full maps of each planet. And the resources are, like, set in certain locations and deep underground, so you have to, you know, plan how you're going to move those resources so the logistics becomes more of a gameplay element. As well as having threats that'll make for some interesting, interesting times. Looking forward to making some fun ground vehicles, tanks and whatnot. Uh, how did we come up with that series? So, the original idea, I had done the original group survival series with Vilfor and, and Tabby and Alti. And I wanted to do another one because their scheduling with, with those guys which just became a, a big problem. We just couldn't get all together at one time to record those. And we all recorded at the same time. Those ones were recorded literally like, like live. Like we had an idea of what we wanted to do and then we would just record, knock it out. And so I had done a video with Morph and Wasted prior to that. I was like, you guys want to do a cool series? It'd be fun. And the first season, if you notice, we... Okay, let me get hooked back up and we're going to head back. Um, I made the pilot. I made the pilot first before we had recorded any of the episodes. And... The guys thought it was just going to be like a normal, like a normal survival thing, like what we're doing right now. Just kind of play the game and it'll be survival. And I made this introduction. It was just supposed to be a little story introduction start. But that made everybody go, oh shit, this is like an edited story series with like, like dialogue and, and music. And, and so they took that little intro as this is how every episode is going to be. And so it kind of just naturally became this monster. Which was really fun. So day one, it wasn't planned to have this like big, big st arcing story. We had some ideas for where the story could go, but nothing like what we ended up doing. It got way more serious, way faster. Uh, okay. So we need to go back to base. Back to base is Quad Cats. And then as we got farther into it, the stories got more, you know, we, we flushed out the ideas that we had into, into more interesting elements. And then the season two, you know, cold open of us doing a time skip. That was a thing we debated a long time for a while. Um, and we were like, I know people aren't going to like this, but we did a cold open with us in that battle. Wasted did an amazing job. So I edited the intro for episode one of the original series, and that was, you know, my intro. Uh, he did season two's opening. He edited it. We all helped him record it. He did just such an amazing job. All the little effects he put in there, all the sounds he had to work on, because remember, Space Engineers doesn't have those acceleration sounds. All those vehicle sounds were hand, like, placed by him. And then Morph came up with the character Potatoes for his series, which I remember being like, hey man, can I can I do something with that character in 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 my episode on my channel? So we started trading the elements that we had come up with individually and making more episodes and more stories out of, which was really fun. Like I think that was the coolest thing. My favorite episode of mine is the is the potatoes one. All right, we're heading back. When he has the wheels on, then he gets, yeah. And we start doing the flashbacks. Oh, I love that shit. That was so good. Came out way better than I thought. Morph's tunneling machine toward the end of season two. Ugh. We didn't know he was going to do that. 
we didn't re like we were like hey build you should build this like machine that will bring us down there and we were thinking something really small kind of like the drop pods and we come back and he's made this monstrous so our reaction to that was real our reaction to this machine he made to go down towards the base underground was real we didn't know he was gonna make it <laughs> so ridiculous dude where'd you even get the resources for this ah so much fun the rope yep the rope that's what he did. And he had an acronym for it and everything. It felt like a D and D campaign. Yeah. With like five with, with, uh, with three, um, GMs, DMs basically. Now morph lives in Taiwan. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna skirt this asteroid. Bye. Iron and something. Gold, iron, uranium. Yeah. Change direction. Start going up. Space Engineers 12 hours ago. Yeah, he was. He streams. He streams really early in the morning. Uh, salvage station. I'm picking up a salvage station. 10 kilometers away. That's new. Like a full on enemy station is set up nearby. Hmm. You mean about to get salvaged station? I overshot. A wee bit. Now, I said bottle the fact that I was already past the asteroid too far to make a GPS. Salvage? Salvage! Okay, please stop drifting down. Eep. Use those back thrusters. And the small thrusters are such crap. Uh, all right, we're, we're here. How are you excited for Total War Warhammer 3? Um, pretty excited about it. I'm more excited about the um, Mortal Empires campaign. I'm not super excited with the new campaigns that are coming out, to be honest. It has nothing to do with the fact that I've got early access to it. Because um, I haven't actually played the new campaigns. But it's like more, it's like um, Vortex. I didn't really play any of Vortex campaign either, because uh, uh, me, Warhammer, the draw of it is that big map with all those factions. That's the draw for me. There you go. Yeah. Knock all that stuff out of there. Nope, oh, nope, you're doing it again. Sort of. I believe in you. You keep working on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do it manually. The shit. What do we got? Something. Something very dead. Salvage station is sending probes. That's what I bet you it is. They're trying to probe the base. Well, I don't like that at all. It looks like we may actually have to take that salvage station down. Basic refinery can do cobalt. Stop grabbing a cobalt! Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, the refinery in this is trying to heat through the cobalt. Yeah, don't don't do that. You don't need to do that. I got real refineries for that. I think I got it all. Nope. Nope. Still pulling it from somewhere. 
There's a cargo bay somewhere with a bunch of cobalt in it. Gonna have all the cobalt. Could use a connector, but I didn't want to put one on here. One of the things that I'm going to have to think about, if we're going to go to a planet, right? And we have to move a bunch of weapons and material. How the hell am I going to do that with the shuttlecraft? I'm not going to be able to do that with the shuttlecraft. Am I going to tow something? I got to figure that out. If I could tow something, I could parachute stuff onto a planet. Oh, crap. You're right. Bob's picking it back up. Oh, man. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Did I forget? Yep. Yeah, just sitting here juggling cargo. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's just never speak of that again, shall we? Okay, good, good. Glad we all agree. All right, we gotta empty the um, mining ship as well. Hmm. I think the base Bob was actually getting stuff done, too. He was... He was knocking it out. Empty the drills. I mean, hell, I could just turn you on. There you go. What are you... What? What do you, what do you think it's pooping right now. I don't even have an oxygen generator on this thing. So what I originally thought was happening is definitely not happening. I think it's grabbing something that doesn't exist. Hmm. I'm not so sure. All right. Well, the cobalt is here. Let's get it done. Start working on cobalt. I'm past the four hour mark. What happened? I don't want to stop playing. I know Space Engineer or YouTube is probably going to take a giant. Um. Mm, yep. But, uh, yeah. Oh, it's still large shell tubes. Large shell tubes for two of those. And metal grids. Well, well, let's let both refineries work a little bit. Oh, you know what it is. I bet you I'm out of stone again. Uh, uh, not out of it. Just getting really close. Eat that. Cobalt. Get stone. Oh, eat that cobalt. I'll get you some more. I'll get you some more stone. It's fine. Where's the mining ship? A lot of mining today. I'm starting to think maybe I should get a uh, that static mine operational. Coming soon. Detaching from the spacecraft. Hey James, thank you so much for the five. You sir need more coffee. That time you left Bob turned on and went around in circles. I. Gonna drink my coffee quietly. It happened one time. It was ages ago. What are you talking about? I don't remember that. <laughs> it's my story, and I'm sticking to it. The only problem with my missile monstrosity is that I can't take it with me to go kill that space station. How many streams will it take to get a static mining operation for any period of time before the Reavers say nope? Uh, they already tried at the beginning of this stream. If you haven't seen that, I, that, yeah, like first 10 minutes, just go back and check that out. Uh, we almost got wiped. Now we're trying to weaponize the base. Of course, I decided to build, like, the hardest weapon to make outside of the railgun.
We've got incoming. I hear that shot. It's just sending stuff at me, isn't it? Because that was... You were firing. Um, 230 rounds. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, it's coming from that way. What's going on here? <laughs> I don't like what's going on here at all. You need a scout fighter. Hell yeah. I always end up making one. Kind of with you though. Like something to zoom around with. Intercept what's coming in just to see what it is. And to maybe check out that salvage base. And before I get a message on Discord with a bunch of screenshots of what a salvage base is, um, don't don't do that. Don't ruin it for me. Let me let me find out myself. If it's vanilla or if it's modded, I'm pretty sure it's vanilla. That's not. I realize you're trying to be helpful, but half the fun is being figuring it out yourself, building a scout fighter and swooping in there to see what's going on. Bringing out a way to take it down. I say this from experience. It happened more recently than not. Oh man, we could have had shielded missiles too if the missile mod worked. We could totally have built like one of the uh, Happy Meals, but with like a shield around it, so it gets to the target. Talk about an expensive missile. You get the extra kinetic damage from the missile impact and then the detonation. Is the nuke mod survival ready? I gotta go back and look. I think it is. Ah, oh, man, if the missile mod worked, we could have had, um, we could have had a nu nuclear tracking missiles, but I think guidance block doesn't work. I have to use some scripts. Scripty shenanigans. Possible still. Alright, this is almost thick enough. We should probably keep going down a bit more because we want more voxels above our heads defending us from Reavers. Getting in the way of machine guns and cannon fire. Rams. If we're gonna put... Oh, shit! Okay, here we go! No, oh, no, 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 no. What do we got? We got an impaler. What? An impaler is on the way. Smack the button! Red alert! Come on, come on, come on, red alert, red alert. Nope. There it is. How did it spot me 19 kilometers away? Wait, I don't think it did. It spotted something else. There's no way it could spot me that far away. Wrong station. Uh... Oh, did it spot the station? Oh, that would be great if it spotted the station. It's armed with missiles that might be tracking missiles now. Oh, crap. <laughs> because we installed the mod, those might actually chase us. alert. Okay. Shields are up. We've only got to have half of our thrusters because I didn't dock. Uh, what's my beacon on? Oh shit, my beacon's on. Shut down my radio. Radio's off. So it's 8.3 kilometers away. 
I'm gonna turn toward it. Not gonna move though, I'm just gonna rotate. Because we now know that it'll chase you. If you run. Wait, what is that? Something hostile kilometer away. What are you, my little friend? Lucas! Three of its PMWs already? Excuse me? Is that what this is? Nah, it doesn't look like it's coming from the same direction. Well, oh, something's in firing range. Turrets are opening up. Tried to dodge there. If it just got nailed, I think it just got nailed. I think I might be out of cannon ammo. Let's go reload. We need the assault cannon. No, not assault cannon. What's the what's the name of these new guns? Turret. Auto cannons. Production, ammunition, auto cannon shells. It's not auto cannon. Auto cannon's gonna be in the magazines, yeah. Oh, don't give me that. You're out of. No, where's the rocks? Stick the rocks in there. Give me the rocks. Rocks are important. this again. Come on. Stop being weird. Stop being weird and actually pull what I want you to pull. Okay, where is that hostile? He's five kilometers away. What am I doing on ammo? Still waiting on ingots. You are eating stone now. Good. Yeah, I wonder what it saw. It said it saw... It must have shot something to me, and that's what we just killed. I think my turrets actually hit just fine, James. <laughs> they were getting work done. He's still approaching. No, I wanted to use this on you! <laughs> This giant missile rack. It's gonna be amazing. I don't think they're ever gonna get in range of that thing. He's still closing. Check the assembler. We have iron. Oh, oh, then it might be the assembler's full up again. All oh, the batteries. What gravel? There it goes. There it goes. Legally distinct. It's uh, not battlefield at all. Bum, 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 bum. Still good though. Give me this ammo and we're gonna go hunting. I need at least 20 before I run out. me. These should be like magazines. I think they're multiple shots per. 4.5! Throw in the cargo. 
and instantly disseminated. Let's go. Let's go fight something. Oh, I think my actual cannons are out of ammo. Shit. Yeah, I'm sure chat noticed that before I did. I used it all. Make some artillery rounds again soon, too. All right, weapons loaded. Let's go get them. It's a potential target. Was I not a potential target before? I guess you did lock onto something that wasn't me. Oh shit, he's already like cruising straight for me. Tempting the lock. Needs to be two kilometers, start sliding sideways. Locking. Here's their shots. Missiles away, do they track? Oh, they do! Pretty sure those just turned. Not like an interception craft, it's a damn shuttle craft. Uh, no, this didn't track me. I don't think. Oh, those are gonna start hitting soon. Or missiles have a really low range in this. Come on, turrets. No, 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 don't shoot the missiles. Oh boy, I gotta. Hang on. Nope, cancel. Stop here targeting. Oh, they are on target missiles. All right, never mind. You're good. Keep firing. He changed. He changed course. Rotate. Oh, I love how he banks off. Turrets are hitting. I'm not. There's a hit. You know it when the main cannon's hit. He goes flying. That's a miss with it. That's enough out of that gun. Oh, you scumbag. Oh, look at the bullet holes. Get back here. You get back here. Oh, you're so much faster than me. I'm full bird right now, forward. There we go. Catching up. I don't think he's disabled. Oh, okay, there it is. Just, ah, shit, wrong button. Um, did I just kick the crap out of them and now he's just dead? I don't know where he is. Yeah, I think we just killed him. I killed their antenna. We gotta find the body. Come on, lock. I'm too far away, aren't I? Yeah, he's dead. We got him. I'll take that. Back to base. I was busy trying to turn off my turret so I wouldn't finish him off. And we killed the ability to find him. Back to base. Check the missile guidance block works. Are we sure about that? Okay. If you guys say it works, then... 
I might install it for next week and we'll do some weapon testing. And if it works, and if the, wait a minute, we're targeting something. I'm gonna guess. It's another one of those like probes or something. I don't know what it is. It's moving though, whatever it is, 1.2. Start slowing down. What are you? Mm -mm -mm. Put in the nuke. <laughs> see, that's 500 meters, and I can barely see that. I don't want to fight stuff at two kilometers. Like, outside of two kilometers? Inside two kilometers, sure. Need more ammo? I agree. We need to stock up. Oh, is it just like a piece of the enemy ship? Yes. Yes, it is. Alright, Bob. Let's go ahead and clean this up. It's a thruster and a reactor. That's why I was able to lock it. It's got power. That's funny. Um, oh, the bombs are off. Richard, we definitely need more ammo. Well, now that we're coming up on, I don't know how long we've been streaming, five hours, six hours, six days. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Six hours actually is what we're going on. We're gonna wrap up the stream here. I might do some, some testing in Space Engineers over on Twitch tonight of the missile mod to see if it is working. Comment section seemed to, uh, underneath the post seemed to indicate that it wasn't. And then back to base. I like what we've managed to accomplish today. The base is coming together. What is that? Just pieces of junk all over the all over the place. Oops, I keep getting out. Oh, this is the wreckage field. Yeah, of something. There's more. There's more there. Picking it up now. So I will catch you all in the next time. Are you going to try out the Atlas test server? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about the Atlas test server. Other than somebody sent me a screenshot of the coffee item. I didn't realize they was already going into testing mode. I probably won't join the testing one, but I will join it when it goes live. Uh, Armco has a, it's been in the works a long time, Wasted and, and crew have been working on it, making a Armco, uh, was it season three for Atlas? We all get together and we play. The sailing game. Actually quite fun when it's run by a smaller community. Anyways, I will let you guys know what happens with that. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. If I don't catch you, see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.